All right, Hajime Mashtenshi. It's finally time to actually start Elden Ring. Feels kind of weird, but time to make a new character now that the DLC is out. Just fire it all up. Oh. All right, it's time to choose. So we are going with the only choice fitting for an equal stats run, and that is, of course, the wretch. Feels even more humiliating than normal. All right, there we go. That works for me. Keepsake, and I uh, can get that some other way. We want. That's actually oftentimes quite, oftentimes quite good, but get more than enough of those, no matter how you do it. We're finally here. It, it's kind of crazy to think about. Is there usable that again? Get that later. This one is good. This one is good. Two stone swords keys. This is funny. That is not useful right now. I'm gonna go with two stone sword keys. Base template. How are you doing? Hajime Mashtenji, I. Warrior, true seeker, aristocrat. Uh, gotta find. A loner? Northerner? No. Seafarer? No. Reedlander, eh, maybe, I don't know. Far away, isolated land of reeds, blood is a familiar sight. That kind of works, actually. Draconian, eh, the ancient dragons. Night vote. Oh, yeah, it, it is a big event. We're starting. Weed silver long ago, the night folk. The Newman, Denzins, and the other world. Presumably that would be the land of shadow. Let's go with Reedlander. It's the closest. It's a detail that appearance. Age, nah, younger. What is that even? Oh, you just get more wrinkly. Oh, that's funny. I. I mean, can you sample this? I don't like that one. This is better. Let's... We are deathly pale. I... Uh, this is actually decent. Let's... Let's go for a bit wilder hair-wise. It's decently... I mean, this is basically just Japanese template. Go for... Oh, but what about the hairstyle? Oh, it's... The numbers, I... Uh, this is decent. Honestly, I might end up just cloning Sekiro. Well, I... It's what I use for Bloodborne, more or less, but I think this actually... Maybe fits a bit better. It's a bit too much in the front. I... We'll go with this. We can actually change this, more or less, any time we like. But this is good for now. This is good for now. Yeah, yeah, I... Big thing is, this is unfitting. I'm gonna stick with that. And then, this is good enough for now. Except, we gotta make the eyes. Oh, you, have, you can change the right and left eyes separately. That's. Oh, you can set things or just set it to match. It automatically matches, but. Then we go for the orange. You can hardly see it, but there we go. And there we are. And that's good enough for now. Alright, cool. I... Yeah, this is good enough for now. If, if worse comes to worse, we can just always switch. And yeah, cool, it's time to start. Me and my club, my storm sword key, and my memory of grace which will kill me and get rid of all my runes if I use it. Let's do this. Why do we have to run? I... I said that I didn't want to rush the DLC. I mean, I'm going to try to avoid spoilers, but there's only so much I can do. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Here you go, and that's Queen Merica, the goddess of the setting. And then... Maybe that's Radagon breaking it. How sad. I this might be uh, a little quiet, maybe. Come across this thorn, the lands between. 
Hmm. I wonder why. Well, I know why, more or less, but... Apparently the DLC will answer a lot of lore questions, too. Queen Marika the Eternal. It is... Nowhere to be found. The narration for the Elden Ring intro the is very different than a lot of the others. They're just doing a lot of name dropping, basically, but those those women are their women are the black knife assassins we'll meet eventually Marika's that's Ronnie the witch you might have seen the that's Morgoth and Radon this is the shattering of the open ring that's Moog kidnapping Mikola fighting over the kingdom Trigger. That is the Shattered. snake eating Rykard. So all these people will meet eventually, and most of them will kill. As one does. From which no lord arose. There's Millennia. For dawn again. A war leading to abandonment. But yeah, they're just dropping the all these names. The greater will if anything could be compared to it, it might be Rise under the Gnostic now, conception of God, explicitly alien. The, dead who yet live. the intro theme is very, very good. Yeah, and these are presumably corpses getting revived as tarnished. Okay, lagged for a second. Chieftain of the Badlands. The fact that he's got a line behind him is important. The ever brilliant he has a lot of fans. Fear. We'll meet her soon. And... Loathsome Dung Eater! And Sir Gideon Ophnir. They all This guy's entire... Character is basically just being a wiki reader. No joke. Okay. Cool. And one more whom Grace would bless. And one other whom Grace would Me. bless. <laughs> A tarnished of no renown. So far. Yes, I will. To stand before the Elden Ring. What if I want to sit instead? How about that? And become the Elden Lord. There we go. There we go. That's the intro. We're gonna start. Oh, and yep, we got the funny gesture for pre-ordering the DLC. Epic Ring of Mikola moment. I... wait. Oh, that's kind of screwed up. Yeah, that's really screwed up. I... I need to change out my controls. It's been weirdly inconsistent about whether it's treating it like... Xbox or DualShock. I'm gonna have to look at some of this. This is actually really screwy. I, I actually do not know what's going on here. That's gotta be that. That's gotta be this. And... Because whether it... I do not know how to tell whether it's going to... Since it is a dual shock or a... Well, the big issue is that normally the button set up... It's mapping Nintendo Exposition to the Xbox Exposition. So it's really, really screwing things up. But for now, this should hopefully work. It might be weird later. I don't know. I really don't know. Big thing is, this is our prompt to interact. Have to be broken at uncertain claim replaces Elden Lord. Yes, I will. Tarnish a wizened finger, use that for messages. And, oh, this is actually horrible. I... I need to look up how to make this controller not garbage. 
Bitdo, Xbox versus DualShock. Input. Yeah, because what it's doing is forcing me to use A, the right button, to confirm input. When usually you're using the lowest face button, the bottom face button, to check. This is actually obnoxious. Large image, character data. New inventory features, that was added with the update. Exclamation mark, I haven't seen most recently. Okay, cool. I uh, memory for Scrape, scattered by on Tarnus, lose all runes, return to the light side of great visit, meet my cycle, stand before the old ring, become the Olden Lord. Right, messages, finger of corpse wax, so may see the bone is visible, relic of those who came before, we'll have to help those who would come after. I need to let me just check Bluetooth. Bluetooth settings, other devices settings, and it's discovering this as a. I don't know what's going on here. There's got to be. Let me just go to my 8 bit of software stuff. X input mode, okay, and D input mode for. Ultimate wired controller. Oh, okay, so what happened was literally, <laughs> literally a bug that got fixed. Okay, so it was probably the update broke it and the new update fixed it. Okay, cool. Time for a firmware update. Cool. Thank you. Switch to X input versus switching to default profile. Uh, actually, switch to X input. There we go, I guess. Let's just see, it will not work until the software is closed. Let's see what happens then. Let's see if this works now. I. The game is not even sensing the controller. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, this is. This is a great start to the run, I'll say that much. Wait, let me, wait, what, 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 uh? Okay, I'm gonna have to, what am I gonna have to do? This is embarrassing. Actually, really, really tough. Ooh, hmm, I'm gonna have to switch to X input or something. One, two, three. Thanks, okay. Now let me try this. I, it's not even noticing the controller. I, okay. Let's just actually, ooh, ooh. I'm, get, I'm gonna reboot things and try again. And hopefully it will notice. Okay, I am in a true state. Switch it to X input, hopefully that should make some kind of difference. I don't know. So the question is what my goal for this session is going to be. I more or less know where I want to go at the moment, which is a village, some places in Limgrave. Big thing is that I do want to get to the second area a little bit early in order to get a very useful spell. But, let's see. Okay, this should work. This should work now. I'm hoping. All right, all right. And let me just see. Okay. So I can just recalibrate all of my stuff. Yeah, now it works, now it works, which means recalibration. Back step right here, and wait, wait, no, jump here. Back step there, and then interaction is items, we switch that again. There we go, there we go, okay, there we are. And now it works, now this will hopefully actually work. Light, 
There is a bit of light there. We will be able to get back here eventually, and we will want to do that. Praise the message. Maybe I won't do that. Here we are. It should work now. Okay, now the only thing standing in my way is skill or lack thereof. Just check. The big thing is that we will need to go back here eventually. Dissipation, well done, but still no item. No life ahead. Ouch. So we can see the big old tree over there. That's the Erd tree. Camera controls, yeah. And the castle over there is actually the first main dungeon, the Stormvale Castle. So see some stuff at the bottom, but I don't think I can quite get there. Can't see the map yet. Yeah, it's a very, very pretty game. And... Okay, so this is just the chapel. I think. No, but that bigger sort of floating island, floating peak. Let me just see. What I do know is that eventually we'll be able to get back here through other means, and that will be crucial to completing a quest line. Go over here, and the door is blocked shut. Precious item ahead. You know, we could be funny and put a message down. I think I will. Use that. Template, template. Message format. Gestures. Second line. Conjunctions. Gestures. We're just going to use conjunctions here. And... Oh... Okay, you don't have the right concepts, phrases, you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right, that's good, should work, yeah, and let me check, let me check that, yeah, hopefully that should help, give us a bit of extra stuff, occasional flasks when people read that, read that message, maybe, behold the dog, Bridge or bridge. That makes no sense in context, even. No omen creature ahead. Could this be a dragon? No. What is very interesting is that the intro boss, which we are supposed to die to, and can't even reasonably be, unless we're really, really cracked at the game, which I am not, was originally an Erdtree avatar, which, oh goodness, fights very, very similarly to the Asylum Demon from Dark Souls 1, and therefore the Vanguard Demon from Demon Souls. But they replaced it with this guy called a Grafted Scion, who is mainly an enemy found in Stormvale right over there. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna die. We're gonna die hard. Stuff, good luck, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. I... I am not gonna manage this at all. Oh, wow. We get two shot. That's kind of crazy. Uh, okay, dodge. And, mm -hmm. You have to do a lot of fights to make this work. Okay. Thanks. And... Okay. Yeah, we're very, very dead now. Alright. You can get a couple of funny twin swords, which are some of the only paired weapons in the game for fighting that guy. They would be kind of useful early on, when we wouldn't have a good source of holy damage, but we'll live. We'll live anyway. We are basically dropped in, put in a sack and dropped off a cliff. By that guy. And somehow... Got swept into this underground cave. No real connection to the outside world. You have to jump off and die in order to continue the game. Which means you lose the runes you get over there, unless you somehow manage to get all the way back there, which takes some time, without dying again. Epic horse moment. Yeah, because you're just not supposed to do it. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Who's that? Fortune. We found him here, after all. And here we are. I really need clothes. Well, whatever. Hello, hello. This is Melina, who actually 
Shu's the same voice actress as one of the Covenant leader characters from Dark Souls 3. Hmm. They drop so many terms. Honestly, it's almost Dark Souls 3 in that, where they just keep talking about unkindled without ever explaining it. Though they do explain all these concepts eventually. There are a bunch of things thrown at you, but they all do end up getting explained. Honestly, I ended up being more of a hairy little no man than I expected. It is what it is. Frankly, I would have, would have expected a young body type to have a less back hair by default, but that's life, I guess. Mm, eventually, yeah. Or I could just explain it all to you right now. And Flash of Tears, ooh, okay. Cave of Knowledge, Game Controls and Basic Actions, other tips helpful during your adventures. Okay then, and no golden seed here. No seed ahead. So what is that red aura on me? I actually don't know. Some Oh, we stole the attack up buff from using Barbaric Roar. Cave therefore seeks out, and there's a way to get loop back around and get that item eventually, so that could be an interesting goal, maybe. Big thing is to get that item, we have to go down into this cave. Time for strong foe? Not really. Not really, no. So we can just drop down here, or to avoid taking damage. Use and switch, and yeah. We don't even have a shield. So that's a grace, HP, mana, status elements, sacred flask, most of the enemies will be revived, light converges, two items, inventory at any time. So let's touch grace. Here we are. Let's rest. And do I have any others at the moment? Cube of knowledge and the shredded graveyard. Should be one a little outside, too. Right, there we go. Reset, lock on, and... Spotting some commoners here. Let's go for a backstab with the club, and... Okay, that does kill. I was a little worried and worried for a bit, but... Big issue is that we don't have any kind of... Shield. Strong attack is good. You can also... Charge up a strong attack, kind of like in Bloodborne, but... Not nearly as good. Let's enter both hands to guard. Stamp runs out, will be broken. That's not something to really do. Okay, whatever. Hello there, hi. Thanks to... Let me just try that. Dodge roll or backstab. Cool. Alright then. Hmm. I don't want to wait for this buff to go away so I can test out charge versus jumping damage. Because a charge strong attack tends to be really, really, really good. Now let me wait for this buff to go away. It's funny how it has its own little sound. It's something magical about this club, or at least about yelling. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Let's try this out. And 102. Okay. And then, or is Sniper? Huh, and someone should be on their way. Dash through, someone's shooting at me. Oh, we can actually get... Roa, fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, various other useful materials can be used for item crafting. Well, we'll see how much we actually do that. Check out that Roa. And crafting materials, berry red fruits, grown shrubs. Easily found everywhere, wide variety of uses, but it's actually not really good as food for humans is the thing. Three armaments, two-handed, difficult to repel, effective strength by 50%. Alright then, I, huh. Gonna need to go for a kick. Ooh, I don't know why things are lagging like this. I did actually restart my computer right before the start, but it had been cooling down, I thought. Well, whatever. Because I've had it on a bit before, so it shouldn't have overheated, but I guess it literally is. It's not a matter of the fan running. It literally just being on for a certain amount of time. There are some kinds of routines that it needs to do, maybe? I can't tell. How do I do a... kick? Can you do a kick in this one? I don't even know. Hmm. I can't tell. 
So the big thing is that jumping attacks have been replaced with actual jump attacks. But, uh, so we can get a stance break or something. We can slam you down. Yeah, cool. Alright, there we go. That took a little bit. And then, let's keep on moving. We got you over here. Hello, change target. 102, and a fully charged strong attack is... Okay, alright. Cool. And a little under 50% more damage, but a jumping strong attack is actually not that much stronger, but it does do... Well, I think it depends on the weapon, but also it has something to do with poise damage more than damage in general, so... Beat up this Godric Knight. Cool, and there we go. This weapon might not be amazing, but its stance, its poise damage is pretty good. Oh, about taking that guy down. Well, that's what you get for using a blunt weapon. Assumes FP, and... Alright. Interesting, interesting. I think I do want to do is try to beat Tree Sentinel with... Not leveling up here. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be one of the first enemies we see. Tall grass. More damage than usual, if they haven't noticed. May as well. Oh, but that was still a backstab. The angle was a lot more generous than I expected. Okay, then. Well, one of the things about this game is that they never... There's no way to make yourself start getting decayed and ugly like in most other Souls games, so... You don't have to worry about that. I know how much you hate it. And you can't get through here. I... Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I'm covered in blood, though. Let me use my... Wizened finger, and... This is gonna be... Let's see. No. How do they... Okay. It's gonna be mean. Hopefully, hopefully I get stuff from this. This is the closest thing to just the fatty message from other Souls games. Charge attacks and jump attacks, charge attack, and can we get a stance break, or... Ooh, the range on that was a lot worse than I expected. And there we go. There we go. You were weirdly... Oh, what? Weirdly durable. Okay. It comes back. It always comes back. Get ready to die, choose to be revived there instead, and here we go, first boss. Soldier of God, Rick. And we won't be able to do any kinds of guard counters here, because we don't even have a shield. Blocking an attack. Hello there. And sort of a non... Oh, wait, what? Let's go over it. A single jumping strong attack. Oh my goodness. That's vile. Well, there we go. Cool. Alright then, enemy fell. Not even a great enemy fell, just an enemy fell. Yeah, I... He is the tutorial boss. Emphasis on tutorial. And putting boss in scare quotes, but... Bloodstained, therefore seek skill, didn't expect to turn back. I did it! Okay. Let's grab this real quick. Something incredible ahead. This be an Elden Ring. This is a gesture. Hello. Strength. Fair. Me too, actually. I didn't expect to be able to get the instant guard break. Tornish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance arts of war in your warrior's blood. What is interesting is that it was almost entirely cut, but the first boss mentions warrior blood running in our veins. Because originally, though this was edited out entirely, we were supposed to be of the lineage of Godfrey. One of the greatest warriors in the setting. But. And that did not make it to the final version of the game. Yeah. I dodged one attack and immediately stance broke him. That's life, I guess. Big thing is, we're right here at the. Stranded Graveyard. But this is. The Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. I am not going to use a key here right now. It's a bit too strong for me. I'm going to come back when I have fire damage. It's a beacon. So remember to go back here. Let me just... Oh, marker, marker. This would be... 
Choose the dungeon marker. Let's come back. This is a Tarnisher's Furled Finger, Gold Summon Sign, and a Finger Sever. Summoned by another player, roll of an ally, host of fingers. Finger Sever and Furled Finger, and let's check out the descriptions. Corpse Wax Furled like a hook, relic of those who came before, left of those who would come, help those who would come after. I. I have beaten the game before. It was a very casual. Not casual, but very straightforward and bare bones run. It was just getting to the final boss so I could beat it. Just so I could know what would happen. But I have beaten. I have beaten the game before. Summon, return to your own world. Send back to the world. Severs the link. Main scorn those who abuse its use. So. Don't be mean in co op. Right, so Elden Ring ahead. Here we go. Hopefully we can get close soon. Understandable. It's one of the struggles of English, huh? Whoever. Yeah, it's true. And light ahead. Are you ready? Let's put down an Elden Ring ahead. Let's see. Well, I might. It depends on the boss. The more we put down, the better chance we get of just getting free healing. User, it'll do. Things. Is Elden Ring gonna be a. Concepts. Affinities. Is Elden Ring in here? It's gonna be in. Not order. Things. Yep, Elden Ring. Understandable. Well, I appreciate it. I, I do appreciate that. There we go. Let's. Switch the message. Check your message, Elden Ring ahead. Right here. And... Oh, wait, I think they... Did they change how long that takes? Yeah, I think they sped that up. It's kind of a shame, actually. I kind of liked how long it took originally, but that's life. So here we are, we can talk to Fare, who is a relevant character. Lost Grace discovered. Yeah, yeah. Proper path, retain that power, Golden Rays will guide you along their way, so you can see this pathway leading over there to the castle, more or less, current position, as well as the terrain. Fragments at Stella's, becomes lights from his landmarks as you explore. Hello! Yes. Tarnished, are we? Maybe so. Maybe so. Uh oh. We fight him eventually. A bit harsh. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold. For now. You are fated. It seems. You actually see where we came from. That chapel a bit over that way. Yeah. Okay. Some people kill this guy. I'm not gonna. There is one we would fail a class. Ray of hope for even the maidenless. We do have the guidance of grace, though. Mare. Originally, apparently, he might have been an alternate level-up character as opposed to the normal gal, Melina. I don't know who she is. That gives life to you. Okay, we can keep going. Hold the race, particular direction at times, guidance of grace, path in this travel. Holds the answers, path you were meant to follow. Leads you to your grave. Exactly, exactly. A thorn most certainly cast Storm Veil over on the cliff. There we go. Godric the Grafted. Okay. Set off, I should think. Race would guide you, maidenless as you are. Well, the funny thing is, is that that's probably not the best way to go initially. Summoning pools, small golden effigy, summoning pools, easy to summon, gather. Okay, cool. Alright, well, we're not gonna get summoned or summon, really. Area boss, the world in which you were summoned, so... Let's go try to take Tree Sentinel down a couple of times. I know his moveset somewhat. Let's just see. Hello there, hi. And... I. Uh, thanks, alright, and... Ooh, I... Ooh, dodge. Dodge, and... Thanks. Dodge into that and hit a couple times. Ooh, alright. Hmm. 
It's a lot easier with magic than melee. And dodge and... Uh, but the gap closing he does is obnoxious. I Thanks. Alright. Mm. It is possible. Though I'm not sure I want to do it. We'll see. I did beat this guy with minimum level on the astrologer. The sort of normal pure magician class. But it... It was a lot easier because one, I had a projectile, and two, I had a grace of visit, drop any runes, lost forever, direction of the lost runes. How player friendly. Okay. Hmm, alright. I will try that a couple more times, but in the interest of not wasting too much of both of our time, I'm probably going to move on. The big thing is that I do want to go back and beat this guy eventually, because his weapon is actually pretty good for an early run. I Thanks. One, two, and... Oh, well, actually, jumping strong attacks would probably be my best bet. Okay, cool, and slam. And, all right, cool, thanks. Uh, dodge, okay, slam, slam, ooh, okay, hmm, all right. And dodge, thanks, take you down, and focus on atta that charge attack, and punish that pretty well, but I could, hmm, thanks, oh, well, I, all right, thanks, dodge, and, mm. thanks, take you out, okay, oh, hmm, and dodge, okay, cool, slam, but stance breaking is actually not really the way you want to do this most of the time. Can't even parry this guy, I'm pretty sure. I okay. Hmm, alright. Jumping. Ah, oh, right. The lack of range on this is troublesome. Uh yep. Alright. It it is certainly possible, but it's just not the kind of thing you want to do most of the time. And that didn't hit. Really? Okay. Thanks. Uh, oh well, we got him too close. That's some range. Okay. Hmm. So probably two quick hits with light attacks. Hmm. All right. He's weak to fire and lightning, if I recall correctly. But lightning is going to be hard to get. It's going to take some time for that. Unless I really want to run over to the artist shack. That could be a fun idea, actually. Just early Lyurnia. Sick of getting access to more and more elemental damage types, but I... I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. Okay, and... Thanks. And thank you. Should probably want to use the roar, actually. Thanks. Just... Thanks, and... Alright. Ooh, I... Hmm. Uh -huh. The buff is good, but I... Not what I always want, honestly. This is actually pretty doable, as long as I use my... Oh, alright. Probably want to switch my flask out for one, but I... Thanks, and... Cool, and the closer I get, the better. Okay, alright. Yeah. Thanks. One, two, three, and... Oh, can I... Well, that just stuns you. It doesn't actually keep you out of... Hmm, okay. Well, alright. That vault is decent, but I... Thanks, and... Puts me in place, actually. To... Thanks, cool. Hmm, mm hmm Do you want another? Presumably, and... Cool, alright. Closer you get, it is better, actually, most of the time. Just... Alright, and... One, two, three, and dodge. Okay, cool. One, two, dodge. One, two, and... Ooh, alright. Thank you, and... Mm, still in a very dangerous position via VR. Health, but... Cool. Stance break is good, but I... Focus on things that are safe to punish. And, oh, well, alright. We got too greedy. Yeah, once I get down to low health, I need to focus on single hits. At least never go for three. 
That went pretty well, but I do need a switch. Switching to a fourth Crimson Flask would probably be a good idea. Not doing it like that. Let's allocate Flask Charges. We don't have any spells, so there's no reason to have any FP Flask right now. That did actually go decently well. I... It's all about knowing its moveset. And I have fought this guy before multiple times. But... The damage dealt isn't even all that crazy anyway. This is the thing. Use our roar. Hello there, hi. Just... Thanks. Come on, come on, and... Can we... Dodge. Come on, two. Dodge. Come on, two. Well, I... Thanks. Ooh, okay. Thanks, and... Dodge. Ooh, I... Ooh, okay, huh. Want... Ah, really? Okay. Come on in, come on in, and... Thanks. And that puts us in position, basically, and... Okay. Hmm. This is dangerous, and can I... Slam. Uh, all right. Ooh, okay. Cool. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I... And swing, and one, two, three, four, and dodge, and oh, wait, what? Never mind, I did not time that right. Okay, dodge to the right. If I dodge to the right, I can get him. Okay. So that's not the side that he was swinging his... Halberd on. Hmm. Cool enough. We did get him about two-thirds to 75% of the way down for son. So it should be doable if I'm not stupid about it. Try to sneak up on him, maybe I could get a few free hits in. I'm not sure. I oh well, never mind. Okay, I thanks. Hmm, and okay, nice. One, two, and dodge. Okay, one, two, three. Dodge, okay, nice. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I Thanks, and okay. Dodge to the right, and. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Ooh, that did not quite work. Thanks. One, two. Dodge. One, dodge. One, dodge. Ooh, we got some from the horse, but I. We're okay, mostly. Thank you, thank you. Let's roar, and. This, I can't see out of the way of those trees, but I. Okay. Thanks. All right, and cool. I mm -hmm. thanks. Keep on going. I dodge. One, two, three, and okay. Oh, uh, all right. Thanks. Uh, that was trouble. Thanks and dodge. Okay. One, two, three. Dodge and one. Dodge. One, two, three, and oh, nice. One. Two. Ooh. ooh. I'm in a position for sure now, so I... Thanks. One, two, three, and... Dodge! Okay, nice. Run in. One, two... Dodge! And slam. I... Thanks. Alright. Cool. Dodge and... Ooh, alright. I... Okay. Cool. Interesting. We can't get greedy now. We're in a... Decent enough position that I cannot afford to... Waste this and... Okay, cool. I... Mm -hmm. Using... This roar is good. I... Thanks. One. Two. Dodge. One. Do ooh. Dodge. And ooh, I... Oh my goodness, the delay sucked. I was so close, too. Let's try that one more time. Uh. <laughs> level one. Deprived. No levels. No special gear. Tree Sentinel. That was sad. It's raining. Maybe because I was dying. No faith in me. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's try this crap again. Hello there, hi. Cool, and just... Gonna charge me, or... Thanks. One, two, and... Dodge! Oh, oh, well, alright. Well, if it... In real life, 
if the person with a big heavy club hit the armored knight enough times. One Force Trauma was historically one of the best ways to bypass heavy armor. The big thing is going to be being on the right, his left, rather than their side, because it just the more that we can avoid his actual weapon, the better. One, two, three, and all right. Thanks, thanks, thanks. No combo here, all right. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, for sure. But it's not as crazy as you might think. And oh, all right. Up. Ah, okay. Definitely getting a bit too greedy here, and that's one of the best attacks to punish. I. Thanks. All right. And mm -hmm. all right. And dodge. One, two. Dodge. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. Okay. Dodge. And, uh, mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. And dodge. Okay. Hit. Hit. And thanks. One, two, three. And thanks. One of that. And can we stance break again? Can we? Thanks. Oh, well, I. Oh, the hooves got me? I did not expect that to be a hitbox. Oh, sure. But if. Maybe they would if. They could actually reliably tank hits every now and then from a big halberd. And could somehow reliably know what kind of attacks the armored knight would use. Because actually knowing what's going on here is the biggest part of it. And cool. Thanks. Oh, okay. All right. Let's try this again. And dodge. One, two, three, and dodge. Okay. All right. And ooh. Okay. Horse tackle. Yeah, exactly. If you don't have to worry about permanent death, there's no reason to fear it. Really, it's just an inconvenience. The weapon we'd get from this is actually quite good. It would be nice to have early on, because it would be one of our few actual sources of holy element damage, which, among other things, is very good on undead. Well, we'll see. Not sure we can even sneak up on this guy. So I will do my best to get a few free hits in before the fight starts. Hmm, okay. All right, then. Let's go in and... Is this? There we go. Oh, well, I have to... Thanks, thanks. Dodge. Okay, that was, in fact, a few free hits. One, and... Oh, boy. Never mind. Two, and... Thanks. One. Ooh, I... All right. Thank... Ooh. Mm -mm. Okay. Thanks. One. Two. Dodge. One. Dodge. One. Dodge. Okay, cool. So we can't get too greedy. This should be useful. Well, that... That was my mistake. That I yelled. I did not expect that to be the problem that it was, but it was. Thanks. I, okay. Slam and... Oh, I thought I'd be able to use that as a gap closer. I was not. I, okay, cool. And... Okay. Mm, one, two, three, four, and... Dodge. Uh -huh, I, okay. Mm -mm. This is decent. Okay, and... Oh, the stance damage is actually not as good as I expected, but it's not bad. I, okay, and roll in. Thank you, thank you. There we are, there we are. And dodge. Oh, what? I got too greedy. I got too greedy. I expect him to stay stunned longer. Yeah, that, that was the issue. I, what I should have done was use my yell buff a way where he would not hear me or see the big aura around me. I think a big reason he noticed me mechanics-wise is that it allowed him to... It for- and maybe stand up. I wasn't sneaking anymore. 
So they don't have complicated sound mechanics like in Sekiro. So I... Keep on moving, keep on moving. I'm going to sneak up on you. And then... Well, sneak up is a relative term here. One, two, three, and... All right. And... Charge in. Nice. One, two... Oh, well, all right. Thanks. And dodge. Hit. Dodge. Ooh, okay. Dodge. Mm hmm. Tough. Okay. That worked okay. Dodge. One, two, three. Dodge. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Heal. Uh, dodge. One, two, and dodge. Mm hmm. Out of buff and I. Thanks. Thanks. And one, two, three, four. Oh, nice. We can... One, two... D dodge... Or not. Dodge. One, two... Oh, and... Thanks. Mm -hmm. This is okay. Hi. Uh, dodge. Slam. Dodge. Slam. Dodge. Slam. Slam. And... I... Uh, thanks. Okay. I... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Try this one more time. And I... Uh, dodge. Slam. So one singular hit is what I can really muster, probably. Thanks. One dodge. Okay. Dodge. Oh, all right. Thanks. Ah, oh, and I got caught by the roll catch. Annoying. Yeah, I. If I took it really, really slowly and literally went for one singular hit, maybe even just one strong attack. I feel like what's the. Yeah, if I just go for one strong attack, probably be better in terms of poise damage too. I I will try this a couple more times, and if it doesn't work out, I am just gonna move on. It's at this point it would be necessary to just, you know, call it. Oh, but that's right. The strong attacks with buff up are fundamentally different. Well, if I use jumping strong attacks, maybe I could make it work. And just slam. Okay, I... Jump and... Mm, can I... Roll and... Can we, oh, rolling strong attacks are going to be good, but I... Thanks. I... Mm, ooh, alright. Thanks. Dodge. Okay, ooh, thanks. Mm, mm, dodge. Oh, what? Never mind. I... It would be nice to be able to use that single hit. But I think the only way I can do that is out of a roll. And that slam is... Okay, yeah, there is a special... Let me just try this out real quick, actually. If I roll and then use a... Yeah, yeah. Okay. But if I specifically use... Let's try that again. Oh, but the buff stays up, so I could actually use that kind of like tears. Thanks. Yeah, that... Using the roll attacks could be maybe more useful. Well, I was probably using them already. It's definitionally. Well, whatever. I'll live. Come on. They can't see me behind that object, so... They've got occlusion in here, which is nice in terms of stealth. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and just... Thanks, and... Nice, dodge that. Use this buff again, and just... Roll. One, two, and what you're gonna do... And dodge. One, two, dodge, and one, two, I... Uh, do Ooh, alright. I was not expecting that. Okay, cool. Thanks. Get him close. Uh, dodge. Slam. Dodge. Uh, slam. 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 Ooh, okay. This is the horse tackles, actually. One of the easier attacks to deal with. Okay, one, two, three. Dodge. Slam. Slam. And ooh, okay. Mm hmm. Half health on both of us. Let's just dodge, slam, ooh, uh, thanks, ooh, it's not again, I could have gone in for a bit more, most likely, uh, okay, I uh, roll, one, two, 
three, four. Dodge. Oh, well. <clears throat> that timing was really rough. Huh. I guess... When I get the stance break, I can get one more hit in. But I got too greedy with that, even. Which surprises me. Well, whatever. Eventually, you can get their armor, too, from one of the other tree sentinels in the game, because since the game is so big, most of the mini-bosses do have repeats. There is exactly one main boss who gets a repeat like that. It's understandably not a common thing they do. And that would make things too, too generic. And do a funny run while sneaking, actually. Cool. And just one, two, three, four, and thanks, and I roll, and uh, that did not quite work, and I thanks, one, two, and dodge, one, two, dodge, one, two, dodge, one, ooh, okay, and dodge, ooh, well, alright, kind of works, and cool, I do Ooh, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gotta use a couple of flaccid tears here then. Thanks. I. Thanks. All right. And roll. Dodge and dodge. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Dodge. One, two. Hmm. Tough. Okay. I. This is the way to make that work. So I. Thanks. And cool, go in, slam, hit, and dodge. Ooh, I, thanks. Ooh, shield attack is some trouble, and I, thanks. I, cool. Hmm. Question is just how do I want to do all of this? Thanks, thanks, and roll. Okay, I'm rolling out of the way instead of into the attack is probably. Going to be crucial for this then. Uh, okay. And roll. Thanks. And ooh, alright. Thank you. Mm -mm. You get harder, face two. And roll. One, two, three. And dodge. Oh, well, I, I didn't die that time, which is good. Heal. And roll. One, two, dodge. Mm -mm. How do I want to do this? Should heal up to full, actually, just in case we get hit by something we can live with one attack, but not the other. Mm -hmm. Some trouble. Go for a jump, or what? I mm -hmm. Only a few attacks I can arrive at. Wait, what? Huh? Okay. I didn't think that shield charge would have such a big hitbox. Didn't think it would move you that far. Whatever. One more time. One more try. Obviously, you just are not supposed to be fighting this guy this early. Generally speaking, you're supposed to get your butt kicked in and then sneak past him, level up, come back later as a lesson in, you know, not getting too greedy and knowing that you don't have to beat everything the first time you see it and the game is not going to balance itself around everything being beatable the first time you see it. But I... Oh, okay, I... Kinda messed that one up. Let's go around then and... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, and why are you using that? The Urtree Shield buff? Shield they have is... Oh, you... Okay, you change your position. Interesting, because you got stuck. Well, alright. Cool. Thanks. Let's crouch again. Thank you, just move on, move ahead. Don't pay too much attention to me. I'm not relevant. I'm not important. But it does feel like they... <sighs> this might be a change from Sekiro, just... Enemy detection by directionality. Not by sound, just by sight and directionality getting better. Which is cool. It's actually very, very cool. Can't sneak up on this guy. And... One, two, three, and... Uh, not doing nearly as much as I expected. One, two, and thanks, bucket of bolts. 
One, two. Dodge. One, dodge. And. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. That worked pretty well. Stance break was nice to have, but. Thanks. One, two. And. Hmm, okay. Try this again. It's not gonna. Hmm. Big thing is, is that. The. Big charge is absurdly punishable, so I should focus on punishing it as much as I can. Big sweeping attacks like that tend to be very punishable. One, two, three, four, and hmm, alright. One, two, three, nice. And there we are. Cool. Doing better for ourselves more than a little bit. One, two, three, and okay, alright. Hmm. Punishes panic rolls among other things. Okay, heal. Get some of this going too, and alright. Let's just run in and hit once. And, uh, 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 hmm. Focus on things that won't charge at us. One, two, three, and okay. And dodge. Hmm. Okay. Come on, I. This is the attack we want to punish most often, and there we go, nice, and dodge, oh my goodness, I, one more try, that attack is horrible, and that attack is legitimately horrible, it's got such a long lingering hitbox, and I don't even have a shield, that's the thing, I literally don't even have a shield, and the shield would definitely break pretty much instantly, as in, not as in be broken and not be usable, but... Drain my stamina instantly, but I could use it in an emergency to take a hit from something, but even that is not possible at the moment. Try this one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna go and proceed. It is fun to try killing Tree Sentinel, but we have other things to be doing too. Like killing other things that aren't Tree Sentinel. Alright then. Cool. Okay. And what if we use jumping heavy attack on you? One, two, and dodge. Nice. Bit in and roll. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Or not. Thanks. And roll. One, two. And ooh, all right. Mm -hmm. That was so close. I'm just getting. One shot by that one attack is actually vile. I, ooh, okay, and roll. One, two, three, and roll. Mm. Okay. So the shield attack is actually just the worst thing I have to deal with in this fight. It's... If I... Oh, well. I messed that up, too. Dodge hero. Okay, that was stupid enough. That deserves one more try. If the shield attack kills me again, I'll accept that. If it's not the shield attack, I'm finding another way. Hmm. Oh, what I could do... Well, I'll come back at least after Weeping Peninsula. The latest after Weeping Peninsula. Big thing is that there is a weapon I could get. It would take a bit of stat investment to use in the arcane stat, but it would deal blood loss, which could be good for getting this guy down, depending on the strengths. It's an idea. It's an idea. Hmm. And one, two, three, four, and as soon as we see that moving, we just get out of the way. And roll. Thanks. One, two, three, and nice. One, oh, or you just stay out of my way. And roll. One, two, three, dodge. And one, two, three, and nice. We got that so we can make that work. This is a pretty good one. Alright, nice. Let's see that moving. You just do this. And, hmm. Okay. It's just that shield attack is by far the worst anything that happens. Cool, I... Okay. 
And all right. Oh what? Oh, shockwave. That was not the shield attack I mentioned. We're trying that one more time. The quick swing, which means actually I should actually be on his left side, because when I'm on his, I mean on his right side, which is my left, because when I'm on his left side, my right, that's when he can just. Hit me with the shield all of a sudden, which is not an especially telegraphed attack either. Which is the big thing about it. It's easy for him to just pull the shield out really fast, which will just kill me because, well, I'm weak. Cool. Okay, and where are you? Oh, wow. Alright, that was interesting and different. Oh, well, okay. I... That was more than a little unpleasant. One, two, three, and... It's being beside or behind. Thanks. Nice, and... One, ooh, okay. Hmm. Okay then, alright. Nice. One, two, three, and... Roll, and... Alright. It's a tough one. What you gonna do? Roll. One, two, three. Roll. And ooh, okay. Shockwave. I did not expect a shockwave on that. And okay. Nice. One, two, three, four. And alright. Cool. Need healing badly. Let's roar again. And roll. Thanks. One, two, three. And ooh. Being on Halberd's side is much better. I. There you go, which means we can just run in and hit you a couple times like that, and okay. Just being not on Albert's side is crucial to not dying quickly. Okay. Try this again, and mmm, but I want to roll in front of that. I roll. One, two, three, and dodge. Cool. One, two, and Roll and run. Ro Ooh, okay. Dodge. Ah, stupid, stupid. Okay. Gotta scream, scream, roar again. What you gonna do? Yo. Roll and slam, slam. And okay, now you've got that shield attack, and I do not want to deal with that. Something was in the way there, and I don't like that. One, two, three, and dodge. And mm, one, or miss, and. Ooh, what? Huh? Okay. I expected something shield related, not that. Which... I didn't expect the delay. I didn't even expect an attack. But now that I know that that's coming, I should be able to deal with it, ideally. Okay. Yeah, we were so close. The guy will give us a golden halberd when, if and when we manage to kill him, which... Like I said, is a good weapon, especially in the early game, due to dealing rare and powerful holy damage. Holy damage, in a weird sort of way, is actually more of the equivalent of lightning damage from Dark Souls than it is something like dark damage, because lightning damage is in this is in this game, but it's more of a it's just a purely natural phenomenon. It's not divine power representing time like it is in other Souls games. Nice, roll and one, two, three, and ooh, okay, five, all right, mistake, two is safe, three is definitively not, two, and da, ooh, what, uh-huh, I, interesting, I, well, all right, two, three, and all right, one, two, hmm, just the speed, speed is what really works me. And, mm hmm, okay, dodge, heal, one, one, two, and dodge, and roll, and, uh, can I, thanks, all right, one, two, three, and, nice, okay, run in, two, three, four, five, and roll, and, mm hmm, it was dangerous, let's try this again, and cool. Nice, one, two, and dodge, and hit. Okay, ooh, all right, that was bad and painful. Okay, cool, and roll. One, two, 
What? No! Oh, what? Almost dead. Almost dead. Okay. The flask being in a pretty bad position is not good for me, and I... Okay. Just gotta see what I can punish viably. One, two, and... Dodge. Mm, can I hit another time? I can. I can. So that is one of the things I got to deal with now. And cool. Slow swing is actually vile. Okay, and just can I? Thanks. Okay. One, two, and cool. Okay. Ooh, nice. One, two. Dodge. Okay. I need to. Thanks. All right. And ooh. If we had taken advantage of that window, I think we could have done it, but one, two, and just thanks, thanks, and mm -hmm. thanks, one, two, three, yo, yo, there we go, we got him, whew, tree sentinel down, level one wretch, golden halberd, there we are, we can't use this thing yet, glad I did that. Yeah, I would- oh, I need to get 20 strength in order to hand that. That said, I- 17 would actually be enough using certain talismans, but... Well... Okay, ish. Holy damage. Let's check something. Sorcerer to heirloom strength by 5. That's in- Oh, Fort Gale. It's actually decently close. Eh, I don't really need this thing right now. What I need to do is move on to the next side of Grace. I wonder if Mr. Varre would have anything to varsay about our accomplishment. Probably not. Presumably. There we go. It only took really, really, really learning his moveset. Let's move on. Yeah, hello. Okay, nothing there. Meaningless as you are. Eventually, that will change. Need our... Map fragment will be a bit up north. Is the thing. Either way, we should be alright. The big thing is making sure we find... Lots of things to pick up, but engaging with crafting, frankly, will be an interesting idea, but probably not all that necessary. It is a strictly optional... Oh, this is the closest thing you're going to get to bone wheels in this game, by the way. These rolling goats, some of which can actually use lightning attacks. Oh, but right, let's check the description of this. Wielded by the Order of Tree Signals, heavily equipped knights... Forge of Gold, Holy Damage, Masterly Crafted Weapon, is up to its half, difficult for one of mere human strength to wield. It's the capital, under the Urge Tree in battle, self and nearby allies, increased attack power and defense. Yeah. Yeah. The Beast Bones. I... Hunting Beast, I'm used to make disposable weapons, you can use this for arrows and bolts. Burial Yellow Fire, Faded to Brown, fell from the Urge Tree in Days of Antiquity. Just see then, what else? Check the oh, let's check the description of these. Golden Holy Chalice, graced by Tear Blessing. So the top is actually a bit more like a chalice than a normal sort of neck of a bottle. If you with use, currently empty, rest inside of grace to replenish, grave sent sure to die, get the regeneration, seek the Elden Ring. Crimson, Cerulean, that's actually basically identical. Currently empty. But it will stay empty because we haven't allocated anything to it because we don't have any magic to use. All right, and eventually we'll hit another side of Grace, and we'll be able to level up. Sets of Grace you've discovered, dungeons, and other areas where this cannot be done. This is the Church of Ella. So then, armaments, runes, and smithing stones. You must you can make your armaments even stronger. Stone plus one, and that's right. Bolstering materials throughout the lands between mine galleries built to excavate can be found anywhere. Found in plenty, and this is Merchant Calais. The fat coin purse. You're tarnished. I can see it. My fat ugly? Because I, I don't have clothes? That you're not, not after my throat. You're so little something. Calais, for sure, of fine goods. He about him. Nomadic people, sing as I travel. 
menace since the shattering and drawing up entirely, and the madness refers to the flame of frenzy this people is a bit associated with a very welcome customer. Mendation, spare the runes, a crafting kit, basic items on your runes, survive out here for any duration. Do you take my cut? Survive every customer counts. Okay. What is funny is that I went through most of the game without even buying that. Variety of items for purchase, and that's actually not that expensive. Pestle and mortar, small blade, various other tools. So fight means to survive, sure, we may as well. And now he doesn't have a recommendation. Warning to heart. So much choice because we bought his recommendation. It's fun. Crafting for the main menu by finding cookbooks. Containers run out with the use. Containers themselves will remain. So we're going to purchase and we can get three cracked pots if we feel like it. Some cookbooks or we could get... Eh, I think I'll wait until armor actually drops. Throwing dagger, polished and balanced. Still damage auxiliary constrained movements. Deadly in the right hands. Hmm. Okay. Handguard. Telescope, carry and roll family. They're stargazers. Luxury instrument. Better see far away things. Age of the Earth's Tree. Withered on the vine. Carrying astrology. Fate once written the night's rise. Fettered by the golden order. So stars determine the fates of certain individuals, in particular the carry and royal family. But the imposition of the divine order on the land, the golden order negated some of that apparently but it was probably more redon a general a fighter and a mage who could control the stars who did that more than the golden order as an entity because it is an entity as much as an ideology and so when you summon that says very little no lore there boy their effects when the pot is thrown mends itself unbroken which cookbook bone arrow bone arrow flesh bone ball glowstone cured meat White cured meat. Utter scarcity. Hmm. Become a finger maiden. Became a missionary. Fourth to spread holy teachings. Holy water and roped holy water pot. Those could be actually useful early on if I fight death birds. Remarkable. Widespread common. Sir Rag, summon fire. Dark will cows or attack. More of the surrounding area. This is actually very, very useful. I need this for sure. Larger side for a medium sized shield. Damage negation lacking. Wider range of attack affinities, parry, deflect, and should buy this, for sure. Chain, coif, ordinary soldier's plane, but dependable. Gauntlets, get those later, just normal gauntlets, not even chain gauntlets. Class of wondrous physic, unbeable only to paying customers, waypoint ruins, paying customers. I know about all these things already, but I may as well buy them, just for the sake of it. And basically, this is where we go. Get more from the cracked... Pots. Alright, let's do business. Then in that case, let's check our inventory. Equip that torch, and we have some notes. Use these. Oh, no, we don't use them as long as we have them. They boost. Interesting, okay. Held store, so we wouldn't be able to buy anymore. Let's check. Where are they going to tell me? Info, info, and that's tutorials. These are other things. Knowledge and brief. Zaman, Third Church of America, north of Mistwood, Highway Bridge, and in the Animal Trail North. That is a special potion we can customize. Point Ruins on the roads through Limgrave. Waypoint Ruins. I think that would be Blyde. We would start the main quest line of the game with Ronnie eventually. But eventually, we can weave through here, more or less, and get out of the church, and then keep on going over this way over to... Where we should hopefully gain the ability to level up. Presumably. And also our horse. Which will also be quite nice. First we should... Oh, right, we don't have a shield. Let's equip... Torch. No, shield. Torch. And our equip burden right now is... Nothing, because we don't even have armor. Hello then, hello. Hi, okay, cool, and slam that down on you, and one... Oh, wow! Actually got a stance break from that. Funky. Hmm. Roll a fruit. Let's keep on moving. Really didn't... Yeah, I don't need most of this. Oh, and there's another guy over here with some kind of item. Let's just take you down. Your back was turned, even though you were getting up, so we can make that work. Thank you, and there we are. And this is... 
Oh, just cookery. Oh, whatever. Which are blood loss, slight splash queenly, damage and blood loss, and suitable for swift attacks, able to inflict heavy damage. There's a dungeon right over there. But we should get the ability to level up before any of that happens. Alright, cool. And you dropped a tree and beast circo. So killing these guys for their clothes is a good idea. Godric the Grafted, Distant Urge, Treat in the Beast region, and the Golden Lineage. So that would be Sarah, which we saw in the intro movie. Symbols of glory now long past. Okay, cool. Keep on. Oh, we didn't see the description of our club. Let's just try this. Primitive weapon, solid lump of wood, no skill, brute strength, and persistence to hammer your foe into the ground. Ten strength needed. Okay, alright. Let's just try that again and slam you down and there we are. Let's go for the big hit, just for fun. There we go. Quick death. So there are going to be some good items that we can get up at this camp up at- Oh, hello! How are you doing, Corinth? I'm doing great. Right now I am... Level 1 still, started off as a ratch, and I've got this thing in my inventory which I can't currently use, so you know what I did, you know what I managed to do. I'm a little proud of myself. Keep on going, early far, what's- oh, well, you know, I may be a bit mean, but let's take down the squirrel. Like Genshin animals, they don't just disappear- oh, we didn't even get any- now I feel really bad, we didn't even get anything of use. Well, in that case, let's- can we- huh? Try this again. Hello there, hello. Going for a stab, we're just gonna stance break, presume. Actually, what we could do is block and use a guard counter. Come on, come on. Thank you, and boom. Ah, that was really, really useful. Did not expect it to instantly break stance with that guard counter. Not bad, though. So, we're just chilling, going over the first encampment. Nice thing is, these skulls can actually get stuff. Yeah, exactly. It might have committed squirrel crimes of some sort. You never know, really. I always have to be vigilant, and by vigilant I mean killing squirrels. Oh, oh. Fair, but that was... a couple days ago already. You're lucky if you can... If going four, to four or so days between sessions is a long time, I have some level of envy. You are... not, not in a bad way, just... I am glad that other people get to play D&D that much. And get in, dog. Or we can just claw- Ooh, okay. That got messed up. Oh, come on. Thanks. I- Ugh. Really? Really? Dog- Dog counter? Whatever. I- Okay. That was embarrassing. And... Mmm. We gotta- Get the dog in and guard counter the dog. And- Oh, but- Can you not guard counter the dog? Guess that's possible. Come on, come on. Break and... Oh, right, it's because it's... Forgot it's strong attack, strong attack for a guard counter specifically. Oh, that's... That's very, very convenient. That's good. If... Back in college... I think I mentioned this before. I tried to run that... Funny Fate... Based campaign. Which was a lot of fun, but... It was a scheduling nightmare for a number of reasons. Because we were all in various kinds of school at the time. I feel like it could be interesting to run something like that again eventually, but it would take a bit to schedule, of course. And the guard counter is instantly breaking, though it probably is because I'm using a club, which does have a bit higher, a bit higher poise damage. Is very, very nice. Okay, cool. Thanks. And ooh, okay, I did not expect that. And ooh, okay, what? Huh? I okay, all right. Gonna have to try this a bit differently. If the way it's gonna work. And slam. Thanks, thanks, thanks. No guard counter, though. I. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Guard counters are good. And slam. And. Alright. Oh my. What? Oh my goodness. I. Gonna have to collect that item and go to an actual side of grace for this. It's kind of embarrassing. That will give us. Melina, though, presumably, but even still, I'm just kind of losing it. Oh, and okay, we got a smithing stone, which could be a club upgrade if we really wanted. But either way, 
it's there's no reason to do anything anything other than oh we can get our map here there we go map discovered from grave west rest this side of grace will actually get the ability to level up that said i don't think i'll do it quite yet because there are a few more things i want to buy from Calve first but this is still nice we see well actually beating this encampment should presumably let me get enough runes to buy the cracked pots anyway i don't know Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Hello there, Melina. I know you. You were the one from the cutscene. Yeah. Do you have eyes or well traveler from beyond the fog? I am Melina. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Well, you'll see what happens when she takes the hood off. Is something a bit up there. And... There we go. One funky eye with... Weird black... Magical scar. I Enjoy your session! Been Thanks been for popping in, Sanaragon. This is not open in accord. A Honda Accord? Wow. Cool. Have you heard the Finger Maidens... Guidance and aid to the tarnish are maidenless. Play the role. Runes in a strength. Aid you in your search. Take me with you to the foot of the earth tree. Sure. Settled. Another matter. Thank you. This ring for Torrent. Accidentally skip some dialogue. Special suit whistle. To traverse great distances. Traverse great distances. Special seed names Torrent. Torrent's chosen you. With respect. Okay, cool. What dialogue did I just skip there? I want a dialogue. Let me see. And. Summon by grace to turn runes into strength. Okay, cool. And. Level up. Turn your runes into strength. But for a moment. Cool. They actually animated. Decently fully share the runes. Spy one, your thoughts. Ambitions. The principles you would follow. You would follow. Interesting. Well, that actually doesn't increase all that much, but more health is always good. Let's use that. Cool. Thank you, Melina. Crimson Tears to do so. One flask. Pouch. Six items to your pouches. Without opening the main menu and... The way I did that was always putting this on... Putting the whistle on there, so I can just do that, and he can double jump. The horse can double jump. It's pretty great. Well, either way, I think we'll try to be sneaky about taking down this encampment then. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> still can't get... <coughs> Excuse me, a one-tap, but it's still good. Now there's smithing stone, and... Pretty good item here. Treasure chest ahead, thank you. They're kind of hard to spot if you don't know what to look for, though. Lord's Ruin's Greatsword, I can't use that yet. It's pretty good. But actually, I would need... Levin Strength. Thank you, thank you. Strength Sword, illustrious design, regulars of Lord's Army, blackened and damaged by years of use, serviceable condition, soldiers having one since lost their minds. Stamp, upward cut. Okay, cool. Keep on going around and see what there is here. Seek a lord. Lord Sworn. Great sword. Over here we got some more of you. Let's take you down as quickly as we can. But, oh, goodness. This is hard to actually hit accurately with the club. It's just such a short weapon. There's another side of grace right over there, which is interesting to me. Let's just go over this way then. And the obscured conditions might actually be helping me sneak. Not quite sure. But a bit more strength than actually let us use the great sword, which might be good. High chance it's good. Sneak over, take you out too. Good old assassinations. Said eventually in Storm Bale, I'll be able to get a good weapon that is especially suited for assassinations. And oh, come on, I timed that wrong. Whatever. And we can get something else in here. Hello there. Hi. This is 
a flail, which I don't think I can wield right now. Yeah, I need more dexterity. Bludging head with a handle by a chain. Spike his blood loss. Can't be parried. Treasure deck whirls for increased force. All of them are pretty much tied. Spinning chain, which makes them not all that amazing. Time for dead end. Okay, cool. So the more I can take down, I should focus on taking out the big guy first. Backstab the big guy and then see if I can take out the rest with guard counters. We'll see. Big thing is making sure that none of them blow the horn and sound the human cry, so to speak, and end up summoning the rest. Okay. Oh, well, let's keep on looking. I do want to clear out this camp. Oh, then, hello. Sneak over and go down. Sneak in. Oh, my goodness. I did not expect that. It was unpleasant. Okay, cool. At least it's only the two of us right now, which is good. And nice. We actually can backstab. The damage it deals is more than a little unsatisfactory, though. And I. Oh, and of course. I really need to focus on taking the others out first. Cool. And I. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Nice. We're not. I. Okay. Uh -huh. What can I separate you from the main group? And just. Oh, alright. Alright then. Hmm. This is certainly something. Certainly something. And just run over. Get you down. Two, three, and roll. Hmm. Focus on hit and run tactics. And then. Whoa. The big guy is actually decently easy to backstab in the sense of... Let's see. Can I... Mmm. -hmm. Should focus on getting away from the group and then... Backstabbing individual guys before they... Well, alright. That messed me up more than a little. Oh, come on. Come on. I was not expecting to have this much trouble. And, oh, giant bats. Night only enemies. Giant bats. Let's fight one of these guys, actually. Run in. Ooh, alright. Thanks, thanks, and I Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. Come on. It's actually kind of insane. And luckily, I can actually just use Torrent there. The issue is, is... The horseback attacks don't work all that well, because it's not... Weapon. With a lot of reach. It's not a weapon you'd be using mounted. And, oh wow. Got hit by a projectile and it knocked, it, knocked us out of the animation. Well, whatever. Okay, we... Let's try that again, maybe. I... Hmm. Said, if I got enough runes for the next level... Which I could do, I could just get a couple more runes and then... Switch to the Greatsword, which would almost definitely be a much better weapon in a great many ways. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... Slam. Thank you, cool. Ah... Uh, Club is fun. Club is fun. The big thing is, I kind of regret having used that level on Vigor because I didn't ex know what to expect with Lord Sworn and die and dodge and cool. Thanks. Take you out from behind and pillage for another basic smithing stone. Hmm. Okay. The game just is absolutely huge. There's no way around that. And cannot move in and slam that down. And thanks. Okay. Jump attacks are always good. Gotta make sure we don't get spotted by a soldier who could alert the others in the camp. Thank you. And oh my goodness. It's annoying. And cool. Got to sneak around and... Hmm. You see me now, which is not good. Sneak around and see if I can... Get one of you from behind. Who and where? Want to eliminate everybody in this camp, and the way I'll be able to know that is I'll get a sort of red and blue trail that indicates flasks getting replenished. And alright, and oh, okay. Thanks. Alright. Bye. Ooh, I don't like that. Thanks, and nice, and. Or totally miss, and oh, come on, stupid bat. Thanks, and- oh, come on, I- what? Really? Really? I- if I die to the bat, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay. It- the fact that they have an actual projectile attack is honestly very aggravating. 
because I just don't really have to deal with projectiles a lot right now, but... Thank you, and thanks, and slam with a guard counter, and okay, cool. Yeah, I need- wait, what? Never mind, never mind, okay. Funky, funky, annoying and funky. We need to take out one of... Golden Rune would be fine, the big thing is... Switching to the Greatsword as fast as possible. I... I did not expect starting out as a... Wretch to be this bad. Well, whatever. Let's get... Right, we need to use one Golden Rune that we've picked up. Then 200 runes, that's decent. Could be become nearly useless, but... Okay, cool. Thank you. Level up real quick, and... Get one more point of strength. Then we can use... The Greatsword instead. Then we have... 123 AR versus... 154... Yeah, okay. Just check that, and this we have, yeah, 154 AR. Which means no guard counters now, but we can try it anyway. Alright. Oh, okay. That is really, really good. A backstab is now a one-shot. I think it might be because of the way resistances work that they're subtractive, not just percentile. But I think a lot of it is also just... Might be doing piercing damage instead of bludgeoning. I know some weapons just have much better backstabs than others, but the critical value on a greatsword is not meant to be especially strong to my knowledge. Well, whatever. Just gonna sneak up on you again. Thank you, thank you. I feel so sick, Hero Peeled. Godric Soldier Helm and another Tree and Beast Circo. Let's take a look at some of that, and... Triple iron with a chainmail coif beneath. We are exactly at medium. Actually, we can get a little bit higher. It's two thirds where the rolls start getting kind of bad. Let's check the map, actually. There is key items. The map should be here. Wingrave's western region, the domain of Wingrave far south, border to the northwest by the coast of Stormville, Everquited skies, the steps of the pale lands. Okay, this is just going to be much better. Presumably. Yeah, the big thing is just being able to hit with insta-kill backstab on these guys. That is convenient. Yeah. De nighttime is a bit more dangerous, but mostly in the sense of some additional enemies like those bats come out. And there are still bats during daytime, but they are meaningfully less common. Okay, and alright, what are you going to do? Oh, wolf. Okay, cool. Gonna turn around or what? Go ahead, turn around. Maybe. Or... Hmm, for those guns to get away and... What are you going to turn and which way are you going to face? I... Hmm. Coming over or what? I... Do not quite know how I should try to sneak up on you. This could work. This could work. Just crouch over there and oh but more people are coming more people are coming oh all right <laughs> huh, i don't quite like this and the dog see dog does not see me that's good and the elden ring stealth mission should be good do it from behind here presumably you won't see oh well all right i will kill and Toss, and nice. Cool, and slam down on you, and one more hit. Thank you, good. Okay, nice. And now you see me, now you... Well, alright. When are you gonna raise the alert, is the question, and can I... Slam it, ooh, alright, that was not good, and... Slam, 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 what, what? Okay, thanks, I, alright. Hmm, do not like these bats that much at all. Can I just... Aerial? Nice, an aerial hit, actually. Aerials might be better on them, it's possible, and can I- Oh, come on, I- okay. Annoying, and what? I need to kill you and slam. Nice, we actually hit. Flash replenish, enemy group cannot replenish more flash than your maximum amount Well, so we actually got some flashbacks, a flask back from killing that guy over there. Cool. 
And one of them dropped an item, right? Where did he drop the item? Okay, right here, and Lord Swan's bolts, which are stronger than normal bolts, but can literally only be obtained from enemy drops. Classic. Alright. In our inventory, we've got... Let's check our ammo. Ammunition. Bolt. Widespread common. More damage than its complex cousin. Illustrious design. Regulars of a Lord's army. Okay. There is a very important item at the end of this camp, basically. Hidden inside it. Get this, and... A ruined fragment. That's basically nothing. Okay, cool. Nice. Take you out, and other guys over there. Okay, cool. Alright then, and... Slam, and... Take you out. Take you out again. Fun weapon! Just being able to reliably break poise is incredibly valuable. Question is, what if I sneak up on... One of the big guys, or maybe I can just run away and let them de-aggro that way. It's certainly possible. And the big thing is, more guys we kill like this, less crap we have to deal with later. Okay, eventually, see that kill, but... Okay, cool, and just dodge, alright. Dodge out of the way of that, and counter the attack wolf. Down here, in this part, is where I gotta get to eventually, so... We could just open it now, but I don't want to do it like that. Okay, cool. And you see a corpse, but... That's all. I think we've killed most of your guys. We just gotta... Take out you, and... With a backstab before any of that happens. Hello there, hi. You're not alerted. We're good, and... Can we... Yeah, night definitely helps a bit with stealth, which is good. Alright, then. Sneak up behind this guy and take him out. Smithing stone, and did I get... I did get that guy. Let's try our greatsword on you, then. Oh, well. And, oh, nice! That was very, very good. And just swing, and, all right. One, two, three. There we go! Reach, and damage, and poise damage, and all that. I think there was one item we missed picking up. No, I don't think. Go down here, and something very important will come to us. Nothing from that skull broken, and liar ahead. Okay, let's go through. This is going to be... Be wary of monster. Nope! There aren't even actual mimics in this game. Adding skills, what's so knife? Skill, any skill it had previously had will be removed. What skills it can have? Stormstomp, unique skills, and cannot be granted new ones. Alright, adding affinities to armaments. Truth scaling and more, what can have unique skills can't be granted new affinities. So knife. That. Check that Ash of War. Storm Stomp. Tempest of Storm Veil. Storm hard to kick up a momentary storm. Quality affinity, melee armaments. And that what's so knife. Cipher inscription, small knife blade. Stone. New battle what's affinities will depend on the ashes of war used. Alright, so now we can... Dark Souls 3 introduced weapon skills as a system, but it was Elden Ring that allowed you to switch weapon skills between weapons based on what you want to do. And let's take that down, and just another crappy golden rune, but it is nice to just get what we can get. So the big thing is, is that whatever was in this camp we got... A well, mushroom. Oh, but there was one more guy. Let's kill this one more guy. And once we get that icon, that notification of flask, we will. And yep, there we go. Threw down that encampment entirely. So now we can avoid these guys safely. And showing oh, there were butterflies over here, right? And these are smoldering butterflies, which may relate to a character from Kindling for a Number of Items, eternally burning. A DLC character and boss named Mesmer the Impaler. Maybe. It's not quite known. Okay, let's go and actually teleport back to Church of Ella, I think. Let's go to Ashes of War and... Well, first, actually, let's level up our dexterity. So we'll actually scale our greatsword a little. Question is, if we use our Ash of War on this, will this 
Well, right now it deals 155. This would make it deal less, actually, so... For now, because our stats aren't good yet. Big thing is... We teleport back to the Church of Ella, and that's a minor Ur tree over there. Should be able to get a special event. Let's just... Oh, but we can just teleport there any way we like, that's right. We have rest, we have some gate front ruins, and this is a telescope. Hmm. Go back to Church of Ella. Special event should happen that should force the time to night. Mm-hmm. This way tarnished. May I have a word? May you? Well, you can. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. Hello. I am the witch, Renna. Well, actually, this is Ronnie. Renna is her mentor. Here we are. Upon looking into the matter, the Torah, I surmise, is of thee. Presumably. Thou art possessed of a power, no? Presumably. To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Oh, yeah. We can lie about this, actually. We get funny dialogue, too. Trifle not with me, Tarnit. Or didst thou merely forget? Yeah, she just says you're stupid. Yep, we have to say that again. Call for Torrent, and yes, I can. As I had hoped, I trusted this for thee, former master. Oh, spirit calling bell and the lone wolf ashes, which presumably is actually Mikola, I think. Calling bell, lone wolf ashes, poor spirits, ash unreturned. Basically, those who have not gone to the cycle of reincarnation, but briefly recall battles past. Who is with as thou wishest? Summoning spirits one type at a time, cannot summon during multiplayer, and. Intrusion? Doubt we shall again meet. Well, we probably will. Almost but certainly, when law the lines between. Be, I yeah, wonder. Tire of obeisance. The the two fingers. Place. Goodbye, Ronnie. Lover ahead, goodness. And buy some stuff from Kali. Let's check out the description of some of those items. One wolf ashes, through one wolves chased from the pack, nameless tarnish as hunting companions. From with agility, aiding in combat, those are good for drawing aggro. And we have this bell, which I won't be using. Ash remains, at least not for, unless it's for a quest. Cindy of a rebirth monument. It's possible. This is the left side of the screen. Only one type. Summon at once. None maybe summon during multiplayer. Can buy some things from him now. Let's buy those pots. I care to buy something. Talk in. Yet survive. Takes someone to meet one. Offer them some trade. Wanders all spurned by gold. Let's settle. Forced to pitiful and ceasing journey. Not so different. The Elden Ring is shattered, captured spirits of swords, people that tarnish in mine. No harm comes to them, saying we wanderers. Sending and overgrown nothing. Show them no mercy or code. Deeply unforgiving. Interesting. Buy a couple more pots, and yeah, we're chilling. Let's do business and quickly craft. Plenty cookbooks. Fire pot, don't really need that. Oh, is that a default recipe? I don't think. Water pot, we'd need that from minor herb trees. Mushrooms are good. This could be useful against death birds eventually, though I'm not quite sure. Either way, we got that amount of dialogue. I big question is where I go next. I could wander around any number of ways, but I think I want to go over to the right. For a number of reasons, including Eventually, if you go far enough, you will basically get yourself into a position where well, we could go fight Morgoth. I could do that. And then just get summoned too. But it'd be funny to use there's an enchantment that gives your weapon, a spell that gives your weapon a little bit of additional fire damage, but most importantly a lot of bleed damage. I could just use Reduvia for that though. Question is how I want to deal with Morgoth. Eh, we'll be alright. I'm going to go over to East Limgrave then, because there is a village over here with a mini-boss whose quest line... You'll, you'll miss a little bit of the quest line if you go there too quickly. Well, if you skip it over until later, I would not like to do that. There we go. Gotta love a good greatsword. Question is, what if I use this attack and... Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh my goodness. That's an okay thing, but fighting on foot is still going to be better in pretty much every situation. Oh, more poop. Classic. So the big thing is, and this is something... Kenneth Height might be over here, but here's some kind of 
Wickering, which might be an Ash of War Scarab. Some kind of Scarab, presumably, but I... Or is... Oh, it's a Crimson Tear Scarab. Okay. Thank you, and all right, let's just roll over. We stunned you pretty adequately, but... Crimson Cerulean, fast the natural attack, cannot replenish more than your maximum amount allows. Okay, then. Well, that was where we were before. There's another side of grace right over here. Minor Ur Tree is over there and over there, but that, I think, is the Kaelid Minor Ur Tree. Kaelid is a funny place that we will be going a good deal later. Probably not right now. Can do a bit of sequence breaking, but until the items I'd get there have high enough stat racks. Uh, they can be good for a focus build early on, but I'm not running a focus build. Hmm, let's keep on going. And these are just lore pieces. They're these giant sword gravestones commemorating battles. Contrary the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the Boy of Mikola, that is millennia now, and he's begging for mercy. My goodness. But, with a projectile, these guys would be much easier to deal with. Come on. But a jump actually dodges their attack pretty capably. It's interesting. And this is a Kaiden cell sword. So what if I just slam your horse? One, two, three... Four, and, alright. And, well, we can run over it and kill the horse, maybe. Eventually it'll disappear, but... That's not very nice of me, though. Only got 20 from that, anyway. Thanks, and... Oh, okay, fighting the bats on horseback is good for the additional reach it gives me. Boy. This will want us to start another quest line. Should be. Lock the seam, sir, but we have to roll. Oh, I can't see him. This disguise is a bush or something. Gotta roll around until he appears, but this is a demi-human. I think this is it. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? Should be it. There we go. He didn't even hit you, we just rolled into you. you go and do that for? Couldn't see you, buddy. Hello, Bach. Nice hat you have. Oh yes. Well, monkey man. Some clod turned me into a tree. Well. You were just breaking a spell, weren't you? That I was. Thank you. Hello, Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. The demi-human's resident cave, which is over that way. Then I ended up as a tree. Funny how that happened. Lucky you came along, really. Anytime. And this starts his quest line to get a sewing kit. Took everyone I own. Oh, I've successed my thanks. Forgive me a mushroom. Oh, ten mushrooms is not bad though. Got a lot of holy water pots that way. Wait a while, sneak back. Something of actual value, some real use to you, I reckon, but and Bok is, okay, he, the icon stays right there. Right. Need a moment, frighten them, have to gather myself. Cave on the shore. Right. Um. So we have to go there and do the job for him, but that isn't too much trouble, and... Wait, how did I get a foul foot effect? I have an effect that gives temporary rune acquisition, but I don't know what I would have gotten that from. Simply something I killed, but another NPC questline should be... A little bit over. Well, not quite that way, actually. We have to go over on the bridge and... Oh, eagles. Hello, eagles. Sorry. Oh, but you don't see anything right now, because... Fortwood Foulfoot and a Flight Pinion, those are useful for arrows and certain rune acquisition items. And, oh, is that a Knight's Cavalry over there? Patrolling the bridge? That could be fun. I probably should not be fighting them on horseback, though. And this is an Ash of War Scarab, isn't it? Yeah, it's some kind of... What did we get? We got Determination. Okay. That's just poise, but that's not nothing. Thanks. All right. Cool. And just slam that down. Take you out. And cool. Hmm. Thanks. And one more, one more. And... All right. Stamina ran low. Godric Soldier grieves, but that's a Knight's Cavalry over there. What would that put me at load-wise? And oh, that would put me at heavy load. What if I took my shield off? Will that help? And yeah, we're still at medium load that way. And I, oh my goodness, I don't like that. They fight kind of like a tree sentinel, but they're, oh my goodness, okay. Huh. So these are a type of mini boss associated with Margit, a certain boss, but mm, it's gonna make it daytime, so the guy's gonna disappear, which is not what we wanted. I wanted to fight him again. It's the Kaiden Cell Sword, but well, we'll live, but still. Thank you. Thanks. One, two, three, and oh my. Okay, all right. I, hmm. 
It was a surprise to me in terms of just... Oh, you fell off, which means we can just take you down a bit more easily now, but I... Oh, but I... It automatically stopped two-handing? That's some nonsense. Well, whatever. I'll live. Now, I was wondering what was going on there. Whatever. Okay, cool. And one, two. I think we'll get a flashback if we take this guy out, but... Oh, they're Kaiden. And one, two. Oh, Poise is actually better than I expected, but... One, two, and... Ooh, all right. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Come on, come on. And all right, all... Cool, there we go. And any kind of... Yep, yeah, we did get a flashback for that. So if I want to fight that row of raisin that's for healing torrent. Which Peter store HP, unable to digest raw root, a taste for it, because it's actually basically cotton. Just to see the arrow's flight. Close to the rainbow, pressing distance, high the pitch. I think the likelihood to be being fatal. Oh, that the horse run off, actually. Smithing stone, and the issue is that. If I wait until night, I'm not quite sure, actually, that big thing is I can mark that a knight's cavalry is going to be here, which is nice. Serrated Graveyard is separate from Limgrave itself. Interesting. Use that. Come back later eventually. Take that guy out. And what's not... Oh, well, whatever. I, okay. One, two, cool. Lovely. And then... Should be a guy over on this way. And the big thing is, there's a map over there that presumably we should make probably our first priority. Wait, on horseback, I couldn't quite... I can somewhat see it. Seems a bit finicky how and when the mist actually shows up. Let's go over this way then. Cool, cool. Gotta make sure we don't die when we drop down, but a certain quest line should be around here with a guy named Kenneth. I think I might hear him already. Oh, and Torn and I took a bit of damage from that. Again, fall damage is finicky in this game. Because the range, which fall damage can be dealt, is significantly decreasing. Oh, we got a flask from that. They were actually encouraging us to hunt the wildlife of the lands between. Not even for crafting materials, but just for its own sake. And then we have... Oh, and a bear. Okay. Is that a bear? I think that's a bear. Thank you, and two, three, and if we just keep circling around the bear, actually, we can make this work. That's kind of silly, actually. And, oh, uh, you're standing up to be more imposing, and that's a dead bear. A lump of flesh and a hefty beast bone. Check that. Lump of flesh, and wait. Oh, because it's an item crafting? Wait, what? Have, oh, we have the wrong menu, right? I may be stupid. Of a flesh, rich juices, suitable for a rustic feast. Disposable weapons, particularly large, so these would be great bolts for a ballista or something. And that's a rune bear over there, that's right. Forgot about that one. So beating this guy, I'm not even sh I don't know if he responds or what. They are very weak to fire, but... First order of business is, of course, getting that map. So the rune bears are... Blessed a bit by gold, but the big thing is that they've also got a bit of draconic nature. From Grave East, and oh, we're actually right by the minor herb tree. Didn't really get a good angle on until we did that, but... Hmm. So the church is over there, and I think Sea of the Water Village is where I want to go next, and it's up here. It's where the Mariner is going to be. The Marinera. Let's check out that map. Map is of Limgrave East. Other than the Mistwood, that which envelops the south, known for its past between Decaywood, path trod by many a soldier in the past. So I could maybe try taking out some of those bears real quick, just for fun. I, uh, I probably want to have access to magic before I do that. Something I could use to just toss fire at them. Maybe. It's an idea. And, oh, well, we're kind of in a state. Alright. One. Oh, okay. Oh, but they only hit Torin. Okay. And. Root resin. Except for some stuff. And. Take out these little bears then. Two, three, four, five. Alright. This. Oh, and it is a giant rune bear. 
Yeah, I could be something to leave for later then. Presumably. Honestly, I might want to just rush Morgoth. And then, after killing the Mariner, because that gives me access to a lot of vendors, among other things. Just try not. This grace discovered. Cool. Rest over here. Level up a couple of times. Level up. Endurance is good. And then, what really? I... One thing I could do, though, is... Take on... I won't have enough Arcane to wield. Reduvia, though, probably, is the thing. I could actually run over and get... Rush a talisman from somewhere later and immediately teleport out. And that could be a fun idea, actually. I might end up doing that. We'll see. This down over here is a way to an underground segment of a map. Which will let me get a talisman. Which would, among other things, let me get... A bit more of certain stats in exchange for taking more damage. And that would be useful. That would be useful. Because it would give me the ability to wield things while not technically actually having the stats to wield them. Is anybody there? Someone who might be the Great Kenneth Height. The great Kenneth Height. Those demi-humans, true order repudiator of the false. The repudiator of the false. Celebrated by whom? Oh, Grant, me Grant me sucker. Okay. You want me your aid, kind, but um... You're from a tarnished... Oh, because he's a normal human, not a tarnished. True order, rightful ruler, not really. Boon of you, take back my fort, south beyond the Misterwood. Commander, fool and von Matt, obsessed with blood. You use a blood attack, probably Moog related then. Kiss goodbye. For me, the reward, considerable largesse. Lavish indeed, dawn of retrieval. Little advice, tarnish hunts, we're on your shoes. Sacrificing tarnish for grafting. Country bumpkin, don't make me laugh. The castle. So I can't actually see all that well from here. Sir Battle, rather than die like a man. No shame. But if Godfrey wouldn't know to look at him, or I think of it. Okay, cool. He doesn't repeat that dialogue then, so. I wonder if he'd say anything if he took out the demi humans down below. Maybe, maybe. These guys shouldn't be much trouble, and yeah. Oh, they still take multiple hits. Okay, well, a jump presumably should actually... Jumping strong attack should probably dispatch them. I can slam down, and yeah. Jumping strong attack does the job more than well enough. Thank you, and... Ooh, alright. You were just under the attack. That's wrong. Huh. Alright then. Let's try this. Cool. And there you are. There you have it. Slam that down again, and... Cool. Thanks. Ooh, I missed with that. So they don't do much damage, is the thing. Thanks, and... Yeah, we crouched on well enough when we're in that attack stance that a lot of their attacks will just outright miss. That's fun. Hmm, got too close. I mean, got too far away. Oh, come on. That big spiked club they have, though, is certainly something. And I... Hmm, can I just... Strong attack... A strong... A normal strong attack will do this just fine. And I... Hmm, Question is, do we want to go for a stance break on big guy or what? Slam and thanks. Well, we could have gotten the hit, gotten the critical attack, but it no, it's not like it really mattered. Of string, string. It would be crafting items carried by demi humans, most special quality, good luck of string. String items easier to use, so presumably that would mean roped throwing pots. Oh, magic grease, interesting. Is that for magic damage? Magically resident materials, only a short time. But, I'm not sure I'd really need that much, but we did. It wasn't running for the demi-humans, but... It probably was, but mainly. Okay, cool, whatever. We'll do that eventually, we'll tell him eventually. And I think that's Fort Gale up there. Big thing is that the Flask of Wondrous Physic Church should be over this way too. Which would be nice. Early flower and okay, one of these, but that's life. Cool, cool, and all right. We didn't need that. Can we? Mm -hmm. 
did that a bit too early and that else too late. Oh, but big thing is, is that the trolls can actually be knocked down relatively easily if you use the weapon art. Thanks, and... Thanks, and... There we are, cool. Just do that twice, and we get critical on the head, I think. Just go over here before they get back up, and... There we are, and... Hmm, we just gotta repeat the process then. Cool, and break. And just stay out of the way of you, and break. Break, and... There we are again. Nice. These trolls are actually pretty easy to fight if you know what you're doing. There we go. Nice. Cool. Thank you very much. Looks a bit redder now that he's gone. So I guess he was sort of in the position of an informal guardian of the area. The question is how he'll get up to Summon Water Village over there. Take on the Mariner. So here's our Third Church of America and here's our Flask. So here we are. Oscar Vance discovered. May as well rest and pick up our flask. Which we will have... Wait, what was... Oh, any special dialogue here from Melina, presumably? With that, talk to Melina. Hello! Some dialogue. Traces of America, maybe. Ah, when you're here, vanished long ago. So, there is some evidence that she might be America's daughter. I'm interested. America's own words. Thy words is the best each of thee of thy grace, creating tarnished. Dim driven from the lands between. Each war land of form will live and die. Root of a maiden's guidance. Interesting. So basically, Merica is, at the very least, a morally complicated figure. And I guess more mine could be okay. Right, I was confused with. In Demon Souls, you had to click on the stat. You couldn't just. And then select how much you want to increase it, but you couldn't do multiple like this, which you could do in every Souls game since, but... Alright, this won't do me all that much, but... This does increase magic, especially, but faith... Well, no, faith is not doing much special. Go for intelligence, even though nothing magic is going to hit us right now. Cool. Thank you, then. Go overtake this. Wondrous Physic, base of minor urge trees, also throughout the lands between, two crystal tears in the flask, boxers with custom effects. Cool. Crimson tear and, yeah. No good fortune, didn't expect a joy. This is a place where we could put stuff down, actually. Pretty good place to put a message down and hopefully get people to vote it. Let's try this, and ahead. Wondrous treasure. Something incredible ahead. Okay. And if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we could get some free flash replenishments there. Right, and this. Ah, the sacred tear. I actually didn't see that when I went here for the flask, my actual first playthrough. So in that case, let's take increase amount replenished. Is a sacred tear to replenish? Increase amount of HP replenished, and there we go. Yeah, we're not using enough skills to really justify anything else, so. Let's keep on moving. Over here, we should be able to make it up. Yeah, but it won't be until we have access to Round Table Hold that we should actually have any way to really get a lot of magic. There is a Sorceress we can free later on, but... Oh, uh, what if I hit the head? Would some kind of heavy actually work? I... maybe I don't need to be hitting a turtle. Oh, now it's gotten knocked over, kinda. Maybe a little. Thanks, and alright. Interesting, and turtle neck me. Which is something for sure, and... Big ol' Skeeters. Don't like this. Thank you, and this is... Great Dragonfly head. Oh, they're not mosquitoes, they're giant dragonflies. That over there, for one, should be... Let's actually check out Determination real quick. Oh my goodness, not the giant mosquito. Great dragonfly. They feel very mosquito-like to me. They're annoying enough for sure. Well, this should be another Ash of War Scarab, so... Let's just take you out. And one, two... What you're gonna drop? Sacred Blade. Oh, that's really useful. Aha! Uh -huh. I... That's nice. So that, then, let's check our Ashes of War. Crystal Tear, half total, and a mixed physic. 
Concoction, half of one's total HP and tools, flask, crystal tears, patch of many moons, physic chemist, priest of the earth tree, so magical scientist basically. Soul attacks, bestow on the drinker depending on the specific mixture of tears. Set of grace for punish, bathes at our pace at the feet of minor earth trees, collect crystallized tears. We get those actually from killing earth tree avatars. Especially nutritious ingredients, ingredient in the south, but that was incorrectly capitalized. Neutralize poisons. Three digits is a bad omen, four toad is a gift of great luck. To those of the earth tree, catacombs built around great tree roots. Great tree. That would presumably be maybe the crucible, which is not the earth tree proper. Termination, nightly skill, flat up, powering up the next attack. That's good, that is good. Quality and sacred, holy essence fires off a projectile, holy essence for a while. That would be really good against the Mariner. Hmm. That might, maybe I might want to use the club for that then. Current high into the air, won't take damage from jumping into a spirit spring even from a great height. Spirit spring jumps, so they go up and they go down. Should take us to summon water, which would give us some stuff. Hello, 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 and... This, yeah, this should be there. Well, we could take on, we could fight these wolves. Just for fun. Thanks. Alright, cool. Alright, oh, we took some damage there, but we'll live. And you dropped thin beast bones, thin beast bones. And up over here, past more of these creatures should be. Another spirit spring in. Oh, a, a white wolf. Okay. Thanks. And yep, the white wolf is meaningfully stronger. And I... Thanks. All right. And okay, cool. All right. Gonna drop anything or nothing. The blood makes me kind of sad. Dog, oh dog. Behold grace. This is a... Oh, yeah, Trina's little... You can use those for sleep effects on items. Go up over this way, over to summon water, but... That, is that a troll over there, or... That is that is a troll over there. So this actually leads over to the start of Kaelit, more or less, but... That way is going to be the village where we'll find the Tibia Mariner, who is an enemy who I would like to take on. Oh, then, but I might like to use the... Should I use the club instead of the greatsword? I'm not even sure. That's the thing. So, we just use it like this. Stamp, and can we... Thanks. Take it down. Go for another headshot. Cool. These guys are actually simple. I know that you can get their golden sword somehow, and that's actually quite decent. But I'm not quite sure if it's actually a... Thanks. Break again. If it's a treasure item or a drop from them that you can get eventually. There are magic trolls, though, with magic swords, too. Who serve the Carrion Royal family. Weird hollowed out chests, too. That's the interesting thing. I... Stamp Upward Cut is good. But the question is, if I'm going to be putting Sacred on something, I'm going to lose that affinity. If I do that, oh, but also Anastasia Tarnished Eater should be over here, too. I... The question is whether I can even attune at that grace thing. We're already actually hitting a bit of Kaled. Said I don't quite want to go to too much over here yet. And another sword gravestone. Let's see what this says. This is Lord Godfrey, last at the end of his campaign. Golden armies unvanquished and unbound. Find his grace lost. Tattered and faded. Because after he outwhipped his uselessness, America got rid of him. What a gal. This. Oh, but actually, no, no. We are in Kaled now, but Smoldering Church, I believe, is not actually where we get an invasion. Oh, no, we did. On Associate Tarnished Eater and Nomadic Warriors Cookbook, so... Touch the grace in order to get that there. Cool. Thank you, Anastasia, and can we... Alright, then, and... Hmm, when are you gonna go for the final? Hit, and... Slam, 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 and... Ooh, alright. Interesting. I Can we slam that down and... No, we can't. Alright. Hmm, can I slam... Ooh, well, that was tough. That was rough and tough. Hmm. Okay, the question is, if I take her down this way, can I... Okay, cool. Slam, but she's basically... This game's version of the butcher women enemies from Dark Souls, and I can slam that and... Okay, cool. Jumping attacks are good for knocking you down, but I... Okay, cool. And get a stance break or something, I wonder for sure. And slam, 
But he dodged out of the way that. I can slam again. All right. What if I slam again and mm, this is tough for sure. I, okay. Mm, using the jumps is going to work pretty decently. And okay, cool. What was that? Attack, whatever. I, okay. Thanks, slam and punish. Job attacks are for certain one of the best things in this entire game. It is kind of undeniable that slam's cool, but one more hit and we'll get you down. There we go. Fun. Cool. And there we have it. And that's our first NPC invader there. Oh, Sacred Scorpion time. Recusant vanished. Oh, so she is a Volcano Manor person, not a bloody finger. So we got the Sacred Scorpion charm, which is actually our first talisman. Which increases physical damage taken, but increases holy damage by a bit, which could be really good, actually, for finding that mariner. It's sets to strike unseen, freshly set an exoskeleton, hurt with a blessed glow, holy attack power, lowers damage negation. Let's actually equip that. Why not? We, can only ha we only have one talisman slot right now. Over here, then, we can switch stuff out, take on that mariner. It's still from that cookbook, but... Oh, hello! More Melina. Oh, but... Oh, we got to... I did not mean to do that. The Elden Ring would truly have you. That's right. Along an arduous path, where is when found a measure from the very start, merely pretended, offer you guidance, take you to the own table, hold, guided by grace. Aye, uh, not yet, not yet. Okay. Level up a bit, runes of strength. Oh, so I think D might be gone then, which kind of sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have done that then. Maybe. Well, whatever. I'll live. Cool. Get a bit more strength. Use Ashes of War. And Lord Sword's Greatsword and Ash of War's Sacred Blade. Get a bit more holy that way, which is going to be really good against the Tibia. Secret oh, but... Wait. I don't have a wet blade to... This is still what I want. Okay, cool. Fun. And then let's keep on going, and what was that effect? Well, whatever. Yeah, because down over there is... We haven't gone to Round Table Hold, so he might still be there. There's a guy na there named D Hunter of the Dead who will t warn you about the Mariner in the area. The big thing is, is that I know that once you get to Round Table Hold for the first time, for sure, he goes away. But I don't... He might still be here, even if... Well, we'll see. I might have made a silly mistake. Forgot that, yeah, that is part of Kaled. That is part of Kaled. Well, I... Let me just see. I... Yeah. I might have made a very silly mistake. Lots of dead guys around here, and... Yep, it does not seem like D is anywhere to be found, which... Means I made a stupid mistake. Well, we'll live. Fun. Okay, then. It's so normally, yeah, he just says. And then he points you over to... It's a teleport to get to... Guy named Gurank, but... Yeah, he should be in there already, but... Still, this is a fun thing to do first off. Do you Hunter of the Dead. Yeah, you miss a little bit. Warn you at Storm Hill. Southwestern entrance of Summon Water. Spoken to activating a side of grace. Uh, Kayla Dragonbear or Altis. Lyrnia does, Lyrnia does not trigger him. Let me just see. Do you hunter of the dead? Let me find him. <coughs> Excuse me. Any further east and... I think... Yeah. Definitely messed that up. Well, whatever. It, it's not like I failed his quest line. We just missed our introduction to him, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, it is just interacting with that side of grace that does it too, it seems, so. But he simply is not here. This would mark his normal location, I presume. Try holy. Oh, okay, well, we can use this now, presumably, but. Uh, that was actually kind of embarrassing. And you over here- oh, another nomadic merchant. Dear, terribly sorry, here's a customer. Let's buy some stuff and- oh my- okay. It suits your taste. I did not want that to happen. Well, whatever. I- okay. Take you out. Always good. Always good. And 
to hit you again to prevent you from reviving. Hello there. Is there anything, anything wrong? Purchase, and I guess we could get this flame chariots. Basically, attack the back. Pickle turtle neck, turn through, blowing out endless power. Spinning stone, another cracked pot. Matic warrior's cookbook. Poison bone arrow, a short sword. Powerful piercing text, easy to wield, humble attributes. Halberd. Smiling by thrusting, or swept at groups, great reach, and cleaving blade. Bandit mask. Protection against poison. Interesting. Very little offer. But I might like to get that. Oh. Cracked pot you have first. There we are, but. Uh, clearing out this little area. It wouldn't give us all that much. Oh, but I. Right, we were using it in the wrong number of hands. That was our problem. And I like this, we could presumably do a lot of damage. But oh, the holy damage presumably is not tied to. Well, yeah, now we're doing much better damage. It's kind of embarrassing. But die, die, die. And we have to hit you again to prevent you from reviving. And what are you doing now? What is. Oh, a single rancor. And oh, well, that's just magic damage. Let's take on that mariner and then get that cracked pot from that other guy. Yeah, now we have an actual holy damage weapon, which is good. Back to summon water, even though D is gone, and D would say, oh goodness. Say. Don't believe we've met. Oh, uh, Wimgrave, no mistake, death has left its mark. Cannot give you proper rights. Not join the O's who live in death. Return to the Earth in time. The rays of gold over the spirit. Hunt down those who live in death and be their death root. Those who have been touched by death, they're home to a mariner. Bound your life, go no further. Turn back while you can. If you kill it anyway, which you should, says you have a prowess for weeding it, have done those who have in death, we either death root. And then he sells some things, some anti those who live in death incantations, but we've got other things to be doing right now. <laughs> Alright then. Over here we'll hunt down a mariner. Rest out this side of Grace, and we'll be chilling. Said I might actually like to switch out my flasks to this way. This should be decent. Alright then. Let's go over there. Here we are, here we are, and some guys in the village. The big one is going to be it's Tibia Mariner. Alright. Use our sacred blade and oh, you vanished. Great. This is basically a skeleton ghost in a boat. Oh, but you're moving around and trying to escape? Maybe. I... Do not quite see where you are. What is this? Uh, are you just summoning more undead, or...? One, two... And then... To take you out like this... There you are! Okay, cool. To chase you down, then... Hello, then. Summoning a bit more, so just use this, and... Fire off, and retain the Holy Essence for a while, and... That attack is certainly something. Oh, that's really, really good. Incredibly weak to Holy... And, oh, right! It Allows you to kill, more accurately, too. Right, right, okay, this is good, this is good. And you don't have a lot of very strong attacks, so we can chill with this. Ooh, magic water, that's not good. Two, three, and, all right, and can we actually get a repost offer? We can't, but we can deal a couple more hits and kill you this way. Oh, what? Okay. Wow, I... The tracking was better than I expected. It's kind of embarrassing. Now we know where you're going to go, and... Sacred Blade is incredibly good against them. The... Description also doesn't mention it, but it also allows you to... Be... Uh, undead enemies without having them revive after... Well, without having to basically do a coup de grace to prevent them from reviving. It's basically without holy damage or special incantations, it's... A minimum of two hits to actually get the kill. Oh, okay, cool. Let's just use this. But we need to get our runes back first so I don't lose them. There weren't that many, but still. So Sacred Blade is really good, and then we just beat you down normally. Okay, cool. And a projectile should be good here. And nice, just thank you, thank you. Oh, alright. Thanks. Take you down, and probably use this flask, and... Mariner's in a decent position, we should focus on trying to attack him from behind, probably. Yeah, that's always a good option, and just one, two, and three, and alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, 
three, four. All right. Use the flask, and where'd you go? Where did you go? Probably over that way. Yeah, I see. I see. Come on, come on. The interesting thing is that they don't actually count as undead for the sake of things that deal extra damage to undead specifically, but they are exceptionally weak to holy, which is good, and there you are. Dead. Enemy fell. The others will die now, too. Cool. And we got a death root and the skeletal militiaman ashes. Cool. Check out some of that. Skeletal militiaman spirits, those who have in death, rising until properly finished off. Come into contact with Death Root. Key items Death Root is a National Sanctum in the distant east collects and devours them, enable the first death of, the de of a demigod rune death spread across the lands between on a red roots of the great tree, sprouting in the form of Death Root. How pleasant! Not really. And just a standard smithing stone. Maybe I should upgrade this thing? Maybe I should. Probably should. Eh, whatever. We're okay for now. Message and let there be gesturing. I guess. Bow down at that random grave. What I know is there was another spot where I could Oh, someone's coming out of the ground. So there were more and more guys like this. Okay, cool. Thanks. And what if I use this? Holy blade, and yeah, it the fact that it deals pure holy damage makes it really, really useful against all of these skeletons. Okay. And it's just pure stat skill, not connected to the weapon, which means that even though the weapon isn't all that upgraded, it still deals pretty capable damage. And I think there was something down around here that I needed to grab. Okay. Cool. And what are those things? Well, whatever. I Okay. Hmm. Keep checking, because I think I saw a way to get down into the ground around here. Let's summon water, because there was a boss, but there was also... I think a treasure chest here, too. Yeah, we can get that. And, oh, another boss enemy? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that, the holy damage is very, very useful there. Might have been a bit of a waste, but we'll live. Strip of white meat from bloodless creatures. And this is, wait, what? Dog ahead? Oh, we need to use a stone sword key. Okay. Lost with use. So we can find over this way, then. Presumably some kind of useful treasure, and... There's lots of turtles. Wow. Okay. Well, Alright, we can... Kill the turtles. Be wary of dog. So what's coming? What is coming, then? And I... I guess it all depends on whether I can reliably hit with... The skill, or what? Hmm. Yeah, optimizing my turtle-killing tactics. Alright, and we can't even use that. Alright. Use some of this for crafting, but I guess we'll be okay. And slam down it and take that out. The upward swing might actually be better in terms of hitting from... No, it's actually not any meaningfully better, even though it hits from Bowell. I thought that might do something it did not seem to. Pickle and then dog. So what's through here? This is... Wait. Praise the dog. Gonna be some kind of spirit ash, or... This is... Oh, the green turtle talisman. Oh, that's actually really, really good. It Stamina, recovery, speed, nutritious ingredient, exhaustible power, wise creatures, practice of eating their meat to be barbarous. So this is basically the equivalent of the Coranthi Ring from Souls games. And it's about as good here as it was there. But I got that. Go through and see what else there might be to find over here. And you can't really two-hand anything like this, but whatever. Pillage the corpse. Eh, that's just a normal scarab. Guess I might as well kill it anyway. Cool. One, two... Oh, but it resists holy damage pretty significantly. Guess it makes sense if it's gonna be related to the flask. Okay, understandable. See you around. I'll do my best. I'll probably have fun. And now we can actually go to actually go to round table hold and get incantations and the like more god will come when he feels like it this is wait what is this i hmm. futility i is there anything even here does not seem like it and it does seem as if this is 
sort of the end, so to speak. Go down over here and it's just open ocean. But also, yeah, yeah. It's low down enough that you do see just to the base of the Erd tree. Cool. And we can try this again. And then... Well, alright. Hmm. How then? Big thing is, is this was Summon Water Village. Outskirts. So is there another Summon Water Village related side of Grace, or is that the only one? My hunch is that it's the only one, but it would be worth checking, I suppose. And, oh, right, an item for our trouble. Golden Rune 4, that's okay. That would be around 800 runes, maybe? Big thing is, we want to actually start buying some relevant things, because we can buy a talisman now, I believe, from Roundtable Hold, from Brother Corin. Also, just some other incantations. Big thing is, it would give us the ability to use fire damage, which would be nice. Oh, and we can also buy from that merchant. Let's check out this then, and write information, information, information. Info, oh, flame chariots, examine using face of the giants, blow to the chimney on top and prove effective, plunging attack will be rare indeed. Yeah, you can instantly make them explode if you get a plunging attack from above, no matter what you use on them. Well, make them spiral out of control and eventually explode. They won't instantly explode, because that would just kill you. Well, alright, then. Now that we have fire, I might be able to take on some of those rune bears, actually. Big thing is that I would like to explore as much as I can in Limgrave before moving on to any other areas. I do feel a little embarrassed that I went out of my way to get the Seven Water just to get D D just to get D's dialogue, and it simply did not work. And I, huh, try this out, and cool, and all right, that was very very useful. And pick up a human bone shard. Okay, cool. Occasionally they can drop their scythe, but it did not happen this time. So then we go over back to the merchant, and oh well. There are skeletons begging for death. I may as well put them out of their misery. Hello there, friend. Not really. Skeletal crossbowmen. That's new. Any others, or... I think that's it in terms of graveyard enemies. I think all that's special there, but the big thing is, is that it's almost nighttime, which means... What time is it? Mmm, it'll be a bit until night comes. You know, that cavalry could be good, but a bludgeoning weapon would probably be better anyway. Probably sorry, didn't realize you came back. Let's buy that other cracked pot. And then I presume we can go to the round table hold by way of Melina and her summons. So we'll do that real quick. Cool. Get some stuff started. Yeah. Won't be much we can do until we actually beat our first great rune boss, which will almost certainly be Godric. Wouldn't really see any reason not to do it that way. Alright then. Let's go over here. And then we have this. Cool. Until you're off to round table hold. Cool. Then we have... Very well. Very well. I had rest potty, but for about a moment. Here we are, and... Here is our summons. I wonder what her connection to the hold is and why she can gate access there. Oh, alright. Cool. Hmm. Combat is prohibited due to a pact of non-aggression. Inside of this world, fast travel by grace only means of reaching use the map to travel there. Hmm. Okay. There is a corresponding location in the real world, though, which is interesting. Because I think, actually, we use standard on that. Well, actually, I guess the question is, there's a boss down there, and me who I want to fight, but Corrin and Deer are here. Hello. Hi. I don't believe I'm known as D. Hello. I don't know D what? We have their death route, heed my warning, left well alone, mariner among their number. Life in vain. And show our death route to him, he'll tell us about Gronk, I believe. This is, I don't think, the wiki actually talks about this. Tell us about Gronk. The strength of beasts. Sure, why not? If you're inclined to Hunt more and we their death root. Death, and we their death oh? Then I'll introduce Gronk, the beast clergyman. Garonk, not Gronk, Gronk. 
Ten two. Okay. Someone to take my place. Let's do his brother. Sure. Why not? Show me your map. Show me your map. Be a teleporter that will take us there to the Bestial Sanctum. Hidden gateway. Garang, the Beast Corps made. Red Mark made. Okay, cool. Think about it. Gateway is hidden. Beast Corps you Which we can buy stuff from him. Oh, but we can't buy anything to it from him until. Interesting. Oh well. Corn Man with a Claw. Mutation string granted by the Two Fingers. Two Fingers hanging from his neck. I counsel them. I'll perform running rule over men. Guidance of grace. Yes. Wonderful news. Blind with these days. A rare breed. Temptation? Sure. Oh, but we can't buy a talisman from him. Interesting. Heal is decent. Catch flame and flame sling would be sling would be crucial. These are very, very good. Hmm. Injection. Magic fortification. Flame fortification. All of those are good, but... Yeah, actually. We shine through you. This is... Ah, Gideon Ofnir. Hello. You tarnish. If there were the round him on this guy, is, this guy is actually horrible. Senior Biddy, welcome. Sounds kind of Scottish. You want down your guard? Okay. Your visitor, house kids, you're in their keep. Remember your place and get a great rune. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't just beat him up and kill him. Well, I might like to. So, new here, Diallos. He has some of the drippiest armor here. Well, important these lands, allow me on your travel. Spickles the wind, good as gone. Sure to tell me. House Hoslo. How do I like this? Okay. Big thing is that marking that gateway is. Oh, it's right over this way. Interesting. The sending gate. In that case, I'll use that to get to that place. But also, Bajir is not here yet. Death and then a rump. Hmm. Lots of blood scenes down here because someone invades you around here. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try that. Hello there. My mad tongue Alberic. And if we let him do his bow upon entering instead of just ganking him, we'll get his bow emote. Thank you. Hello. Here we are. Thank you. Reverential bow and. Nice, and alright, I- ooh, I- okay, funky, and I- ooh, alright, alright, uh, I- okay, thanks, slam, and we missed entirely, thanks, I- huh, slam, and ooh, alright, then we- uh, huh, dodge, and just, thank you, and cool, can I- slam down on you, holy damage is good against this guy, it seems, I like that, slam, and alright, we get a stance break or what? Roll, 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 roll. Pretty much infinite. I don't like that. I, okay. Slam. All right. And great sword. Great sword is good. And I. Mmm. Lots of that. But I slam. Ooh. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. And oh, thanks. Your last roll. And oh, I. All right. I did not like that. Okay. And oh no no no. Hmm. He's a crazy guy, among other things, who has a lot of issues, and I- Oh, okay, and just damage you don't to yourself there. Hmm, interesting. And I- Slam, alright. His jump attacks are very, very reliable as a way to take you down, so I- Dodge, and ooh, alright. Hmm. Just gotta make sure I don't get hit by Blade Dance, and cool slam, alright, and- can't true combo into anything, and now we're dead. I do want to take that guy out. I really do. And what was when we were already dead? Let's talk about insult to injury. He was meant to be a bit of a noob trap. And he did trap me. But... Mm -mm. Let's go for it. Big thing is, once we've dropped down here, we can't actually escape. That's the big thing. Hello there, Mad Tongue. We just get you immediately on wake up, Will. Thank you, and alright. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, decent roll catch. I slam and all right. Cool. Three, four, and all right. Mmm. That's tough. And cannot. Mmm. Going to an ice crack is annoying. I, okay, and just. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Okay, I cannot. Slam down on you, and one, two, three, or not, or not, mm-hmm, okay, I probably use this blade, and slam, one, two, and just roll out of the way, and just, can I slam you in, oh, all right, okay, mm -hmm. I, uh, oh, you only have one flask, and that's good, that's a relief at least, but using a melee build so I can actually just get actual, uh-huh, it's tough. For a jump attack, I need you to use a jump attack. Maybe. Okay. Come on, just... Uh-huh. Don't have infinite stuff, right? Let's go for a... Mm -hmm. Big thing is, you don't have any health left, so if I just manage to beat you this way, I'll be able to... Gotta beat you by attrition. And, alright. Thanks. And I can... Thanks. Ooh, all right. The Holy Essence was a bit of an issue there. And come on, do you have... I think this guy does have infinite FP, but I can... Thanks, and slam out of the way. One, two, three. Oh, and... Mm -hmm. All right. What? Ah, come on. I, all right, and just take you down with a bit of that. And what if I get a little bit more combo in and... see one big hit. All right, and can I slam and... What the- what? No! Come on. Wait, there was frost? Oh, presumably his son- it was frost infused. Embarrassing. Okay, cool. This encounter is decently balanced for doing it this early, but... Hmm. Missing a tiny bit of the strength I might like to have here. I think the big thing is, if I can get a backstab up on him first thing, that would be helpful. Do that and immediately just... Can I... There we go! Big damage on that backstab. Be a little bit of additional damage from the Holy Essence and I... Okay, cool. And can I... One... Really? Okay, I... What? Huh? Well, that was certainly something. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. Alright. I really am going out of my way to make things hard for myself, but it might not be such a bad thing. I think it's a bit more interesting this way, at least. Oh, using... Giving myself another crimson flask would have actually made this work out. Well, whatever. I'll live. Thanks. Cool. Holy essence. And then we can... Wait a little, and there we go. Basically perfect. And just wait until you wake up. And one, two, mm, I, oh, all right, thanks. And can I slam, slam, slam? A jump to two hit combo is actually really, really reliable. But one, two, and okay. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, the roll catch is actually vile. I gotta switch out my one cerulean flask to a crimson flask, among other things, but. Hmm. Flask, get charges and put that over there. There we go. Hmm. Try this one more miserable time. Should hopefully be more or less what I need. Big thing is, after the sound effect for summoning stops playing, that's more or less when I want to go for the backstab. And there we are. The big thing is that we can backstab while I'm not always doing this bow at first, which is his weakness might be the wrong term, but... Hmm. Cool. And just... Go for a boy dancer. There we go, and just slam. Two, three, four, and there we are. Nice dodge, and 
We gotta retreat for a flask or something, and oh wow, okay. Never mind, I thought that would have worked a bit better, but being at half health was silly and unwise. Alright then. It is honestly very funny that I'm basically just in this Godric Knight cosplay right now, Lord Someone Greatsword in every amount of his set except the gauntlets. Hmm. So these are holy essence. Excuse me, every little bit of extra damage helps. And then you'll do that. We can just backstab you again. Wait until you do something we can actually get a bit of a thanks and slam, 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 slam. Ooh, I oh, oh okay. That's not good. Okay, and just thanks and slam that down. One, two, three, and dodge out of the way. And hmm, can we do that instantly pretty much? One, two, and dodge. Ooh, that was what? Okay, that was actually awful. I cannot afford to be is that Blade Dance, just... Maybe if I had a shield, but honestly... It is and remains very, very funny that he does just let you gank him. But, whatever. To hit on Wake Up. So it'd be Kaled, Weaving Peninsula, I mean... Wimbrave, pretty much in the entirety. Weaving Peninsula, then I'd probably go kill Morgoth. Wait a little while to make it a stop, just for fun. Yeah, but... The combo of jump attacks. To... Nice and okay. What? Oh wow. Okay. Huh. The start up on that is basically nothing. Huh. Okay. Big bloodthorn attack he does is spell he does, which is a briars. I forget whether it's briars of sin or briars of punishment, but it's a sorcery we'll eventually get access to. Though I doubt it'll really. Well, I might use it against Moga actually. So it deals pure physical damage and a lot of blood buildup. So it would actually be pretty useful on him. Well, we'll see. We need to beat him to get through the DLC. Thank you, thank you. Be interesting if he... I doubt he becomes any less brutal if you let him finish. Thanks. And, alright, and... Slam. One. Two. Ooh, alright, and... Hmm. Knowing with that miss, can we... Thanks, thanks, and roll and thanks. Come on, just slam it down on you and thanks to all right and oh okay cool. Thanks and just bring that down again and ooh all right. Hmm, it's tough and use sacred blade to get you and all right. This is a decent, but I think AR is somewhat related. Big thing is when he's got got in two hands, it gives him the opportunity to use. Stop, and I cannot let that happen. One, two, three, and roll. Alright. Hmm. Jump attacks are decent to deal with, but, yep. One, two, three. Close to death, and oh, come on. Alright, thanks. So, just, just stay out of the way of your blade dance, or not, and slam, and oh my goodness. One, two, and there we go. Mad Tongue Albrich vanquished. There we go. Means we can then escape back to the top table. Taunter's tongue. Albrick has died. There we go. Cool. Fun. And this is. Oh, it just sends you back. Turn to the entrance. Still, no, you don't have the right. Taunter's tongue is a key item, I believe, or it's a it's a tool. Whereas an invaders invade without cooperators present shortens the interval between windows for invasion. It was a second invader when a cooperator is present becomes one. Oh, Hajime Mashtenshi Kozu, I am playing through Elden Ring. I got through a bit. How are you doing? How have you been? Trying a little over here and nothing quite over this way. Can't break these and make the physics objects scatter all over. Oh, with just social functions or. That's good. Sleep usually does help. This is. Only I had a plump sword. Okay. Remains a Cypher Pata, dog sitting in. Oh, that. Cypher Pata tanks. I would need 
30 faith. Okay. Two fingers, form a sequence of ciphers, no shield can repel it. Holy damage, hang of the air, language of light spoken by the two fingers. So attack, attack, cannot be blocked. It's a good weapon, but it's not a weapon we can use at the moment. Well, as long as it's nothing bad, I guess it's good. Definitionally. And we can't get... And this is all we really saw. That's good. I'm glad that you feel better about yourself in that way. But we beat a sort of bonus quasi-mini-boss encounter over here in... This is basically the hub area of the game. I'm doing alright. But there are some NPCs now who have their own quest lines, among other things, and some people can buy things from. No joy ahead. I know that there are some merchants here, and oh! Hugh is already here. Oh, right, right. Me doing here, no matter all the same. Let's get smithing. Strengthen this. Chains on your legs. Oh, right. Prisoner, these are my chains. Drop on the hold and dying smithing. All there is to it. Prisoner. You're too much, no grudge against you, no fault of yours. It was America. You mind smithing. Strong all the same. Technique never fails. Shoot here of her. All sneezy. Let's use. Let's actually upgrade our greatsword a bit. And this is a good enough weapon. It'll take me a bit far, but I would need more to upgrade it anymore, is the thing. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me about it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, then. Please don't go crazy. Or if you do, at least make it entertaining. So down here, there are other things we can use. Stone sword keys on to get various items. Let me see. Well, yeah. I mean crazier. Use this, we can get through to the other side, get an item, but there will be another key to use as well. That's the thing. Lost with use, and... And yep, you gotta use another over here. Funky, and we should get a decent-ish crossbow. This is Krebs's Block Key Crossbow and Black Key Bolts, which you can use to inflict Scarlet Rot, which we might actually end up using, maybe. Key required ahead, let me check. Yeah, Krapis, that might be a name familiar to you. Very long range, two fingers is a head confessor and an assassin for sniping, very long range. And let's check our bolts and that black key bolt. Exquisite craftsmanship, integral to spiral tip, more deep, scarlet rot far into the flesh of its target, but we don't have a key there. Can't use that yet. Let's put down another marker. Oh, oh, was it that good, or? This is a decent marker, I guess, for stone sword keys. Okay, interesting. I... What about it? What about it specifically? I know that she grows up in it. Or at least is, you know, a teenager. So there are other things we can't see yet, but Fia should be over here. Ah, and this lets you just change your appearance immediately. Yeah. I'm not going to change that right now. Okay. This is Fia, the deathbed companion, an important NPC with her own questline. Hello. Kovo, my stay, hold you but briefly. Sure, it's only for the questline. The vigor and stout heartedness. Champion, Baldachin's blessing, vulgar, sacred, whatever, sure. Thanks, and alright, cool. So give me a bit of poise when I use the item, but it will slightly decrease my maximum HP. No comment, no comment. Okay. I guess. Baldachin's Blessing and a bit less HP. Cool. That's new. Baldachin's Blessing, fleeting thing I'm afraid, should require another often as you need. And this is kind of like the extra blood vials from... That is painstakingly slow. They really wanted to linger on that. Alright then. If anything else to say, or she is one of the endings of this game. Then please see you once more, but we already have one. So a flame. No, it's okay. Good day. And then now we have this thing right here. Temporary Goose Poise. Hidden temple in the disguise of a bedchamber. Forget any aches or pains, and death only peace. Death there can be no sensation. So basically just nothingness. The classic. So we can buy some more things from 
Corin over here. The big thing is that there is a merchant who should be somewhere around here. Oh, but and we can actually go in his study now, but a little time to spare. House guest, but a visitant. First words of grace, stand before the old ring, become the lord, held a meeting. The shard bears the demigods, claim a great rune. Door to the inner chamber will open, you can meet the two fingers. Okay. Proper welcome, just remember the round table, high hopes for you. I'm tired. Shelter from the rain. Mm -hmm. It's not a very nice gun, not just to attend to. But I can't kill him, sadly. In that case, there should be the... Some vendors over here. Hello. Oh, and right. This is nothing. What do you want? Good old Enya here. No, Ensa. Ensa. Enya is... Going to be a finger reader and... Can't go through here. That will open eventually, and this is... Twin Maiden Husks. New Cypher Ring, reusable. White Cypher Ring, Rune Arcs. Short of the Elden Ring, Basin, which blessings pull from that very arc. Lots of missed codes bestowed. White Cypher Ring, request an item for online blame, but they're... Oh, both of these are reusable. Interesting. Well. Memory Stone would be good, and this would be good. Oh, we can also buy more keys. Interesting. Well, before using one, I don't really need most of those. Matters in reach, capacity for harm. We want this for sure. Definitely this. I'm going to use some things in Trick Mirror, Cooperator, Deceive Invaders. Oh, it's a talisman. This is also a talisman. Host of Fingers. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Once it's an item, think well before using one. We'll need a bit more. That memory stone would be nice to have, though. That's definite. Bye. Could be another incantation. Or an incantation, sure. And that, we already have this. Injection. Cure poison. That could be useful. Heal, heal. Heal would be nice. Should be wounded, even should they fall, continue to fight for their duty. From everyone, anathema to the urge to read most of the faith all the same. Soul reward is banishment. All right, both of those are decent. Let's take that, sure. Question is, now that I've got fire, who should I fight differently now? Talk to pretty much everyone here, but I to maybe encounter Gorong. Let's... Go back home. Not home, but go back somewhere else. I have the stone sword keys. There isn't that much else I really want to do at the moment. Maybe I could at least... Fort Hate is over here. Hyde is over here. This is, I believe, the Ever Jail. For later. I... A dragon would be over here. So would, so would a guy named Yura. Question is, all these NPCs around here and... Where is Bach again? Is Bach? Has he moved? I... It does seem as if Bach has actually moved. If... Did I fail his questline somehow? I hope not. Bach the Seamster. What it does say is that, it, that he's moved. Coastal cave next to the side of Grace. Oh, so then he moves to the coastal cave. Interesting. Well, I'm wondering what I might want to do in that case. Number of things I could use to get through. I... Hmm. Sword water, we've been around there. I'll just go over to this sending gate and talk to Garonk. Give him a death route. Also sent us to East Kaled, among other things. The Church of America, and it's just over that way, so... Can we... Yeah, we can actually just leap straight out the window. And this should be our sending gate over to the Vestal Sanctum. Hello there, hello. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> Alright then. Grail's Dragon Barrel, and right behind us is 
a very difficult enemy who I will not be fighting right now. Right here we got the Beshel Sanctum. And this map is basically non-existent right now. Here we have this. Activate our grace and go talk to Garonk. Baby Garonk. Okay. And then we have you over here and oh, beasts restrained and howling. Interesting. I need to hand over no. Switch action talk. Oh, he doesn't say anything yet. To hand the death root over first. Do that. Do you know? Ah, Sate has hunger for death. So the rune of death is inside of him. Okay. Okay. Maybe only if we get that for him first. Oh no, we got the core mark seal and the beast eye. Beast eye resonates with death root. All right. Feed me more. Feed me. Feed me. I guess the question is, which seal is going to be stronger right now? Bestowed by Finger Maiden, Catalyst for casting Sacred Incantations, Gronk Beast Corgiman, Rare Trinket Skull of Strength, Gronk's Wrath. This is Special Incantations Learned. So the Incant Scaling actually got a bit better on this specific one, but it's still probably not worth using unless I'm only really using Strength. The special incantations basically just exist to give you projectiles and other attacks if you are a strength oriented character. Otherwise, they don't really get projectiles. And then just using them with the claw mark seal. Hmm. Well, alright, we need to attune some spells first, so. Try some of that out. Memorize a spell and take. Hmm. Urgent heal is okay. Catch Flame and... Both of these are good. But flame Sling would probably be better for dealing with the Rune Bears. Yeah, I stay on horseback and just toss fire at them. It would be an idea. And... Just a fireball, but also you can charge it for more. Oh, that really makes a difference. Catch Flame is also cool. Oh, and it creates ciphers below. That's fun, too. Let's try... Actually, just see this real quick. Incantations are actually arguably better than sorceries in this game, too. It's the other thing. Let's actually memorize a spell and take Flame Sling instead and just use this to kill bears. There are some other things we could get if we looked around the area. Do not want to take that guy on yet, but you do a bit of Hardcore parkour, so to speak. You can find a couple of usable and useful items. So, faded early flower, and that is... Rotten Lands, Pale Scarlet, and Blooming Rotten Lands, fell from the Ur Tree in Days of Antiquity. Then that's more Ur Tree over there. Big thing is that you can get down there somehow, and if you do, there are some items to find and obtain. So I will poke around a bit more until I see a way to drop down. Architecture over here is a bit similar to a later game area that is connected to Garong himself. And then and then and then. So where oh where do I drop? Probably around the other side that I haven't reached yet if I haven't found a way down yet. Big question is, is there going to be any enemy down there to stand in my way or... Hmm. Yep, it's those tree roots right there. Interesting. I'll go from the sides of the sanctum. This is... Yeah, try jumping. Alright. Go down here and just... That didn't even damage me. Interesting. We just have to work our way down and we should be able to get a decent weapon from this. Just jump and hit that and... Still no damage. They really are generous with the way that full damage works in this game, or I guess maybe arguably doesn't. And there's no way back up other than teleporting, so 
It's good that we have infinite free teleports. Then, and then, then, and... Oh, our seal is actually glowing a little. Interesting, and I... Presumably there would not be anything down there, but... I do feel impelled to check. Divine Tower over there with an annoying boss at the bottom, who I will... Hold off on for the time being, and maybe even longer. I, oh, but right, you can just use... Torrent over here, right. It is outside. Right, okay. So the question is... If I went around the other side, could I find something or anything? Uh, if people have managed to get down there, I wonder and worry. It's nice that they can actually rotate on the spot as long as you use. Wait. Oh, I think... They might have fixed it, but I know there was a bug with not being able to double jump after a jump on horseback that depended on the weapon type you were using. I think it was certain... Weapons with certain falling animations would not let you actually get the recovery you might have wanted. Let's keep on going over this way. See if there's anything else on these fringes. It does not seem like it. I've given up on checking, but around this way there should be a useful dagger that gives a buff to beast incantations. The Cincadea. Which actually might be... Where then? It's not over here, then where? see a waterfall in the water. Yeah, because one of them, presumably, has a way to get farther down then, or am I just... Maybe you have to... Oh, interesting. You have to get... I see something over there. So presumably what I have to do is use the double jump to... Yeah. Get over to this level. And we took some damage, and Torrent took more damage than us. Poor Torrent. Oh, bows, sources, and incantations, and that's now? Okay, interesting. Let's throw a ball of raging flame at you, and just... Boom. Oh, this is bad. Well, I... Did that make you fall? Yeah, it actually knocked you out of the air. That was fun. Good amount of runes from that, too. Just because presumably we're not supposed to be here yet. Hmm. Well, alright. We can continue making our way down. Once we're at the bottom, we can... Find some more stuff, presumably I hmm, worry about this. Then, can I... Come on, just... Please, please, and... Take to the sky, oh, come on, alright, and... Toss, and... Can we knock you down, or what? I, ooh, alright. Hmm. This is something. And I... Hmm, can I... One, two... Hmm, can I... Hmm... Oh, well, somehow you fell down because I knocked you out of the air. How pleasant. Big thing is, you do need you need Torrent to get over there. So the question is, would I be able to use Torrent to get down the next level? Oh, so I kind of want to fight more bats. It gives me a decent amount of... Decent amount of runes, which early on in the game is nothing to trifle with. Hello there, hello, and just, can I, oh, uh, alright, interesting, don't like that, and cool, thanks, and, hmm. If we use this, they might fall off on their own, which would be nice. But eventually they land and try to, hmm, okay, can I, oh yeah, you'll just fall off on your own accord. Or not, or, I guess not. Weird. Huh. Okay. Can see you down there. That's the big thing. That is what worries me. Should probably get up to full because they can just barely not one shot me. That is kind of an issue. Well, huh. Keep on moving and. Oh, hello, bat. Hello there, bat. I. Okay. Get over here and slam. Alright, and. We slam you down again or what? Get back up, and thanks, thanks, and cool. Take the air, or, oh, interesting. Run it, oh my goodness, I, well, that didn't kill me. I don't think it made me stronger, though. Hmm. There's an item down here, oh, from, not from a bat, but soft cotton to reduce. Oh, but how do you get down there? Oh, this is getting increasingly crazy. I, mm, we can just avoid these bats from now on. Question is, what's going to be on each level? I... Sanctuary stone, that's not really anything. Hmm. 
Got more bats. Then make my way all the way down it would take a bit, but I guess we could get more sanctuary stones. It's not nothing, but useful for some stuff. Okay, cool. And just dodge, dodge. Okay. Stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. All of these should actually suffice to get me down to the bottom level, but once I go through here, I don't think I'll be coming back. This is another sanctuary stone, and oh, and this another sanctuary stone, presumably. Yeah, okay. Oh, but I don't have any tears flasks, so if they kill, if Torrent dies somehow, then I'm just kind of SOL with that for time being, so let's drop down, and this could maybe be, let me just see if I can get over on that, yeah, I kind of can, kind of, alright then, and just a bit more, okay, that kind of worked, but I can, I cling to that ledge, yeah, you have to work your way down pretty slowly, so the Cincadea should be at the very bottom here, which means five fingers, as opposed to the two fingers, or the three fingers, who are also things. And the five-fingered hand represents intelligence being granted to beasts, if I recall correctly. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman, that's good, that's pretty good. So to work our way down would mean this is... There's our Cincadea! Nice. It's what we needed. This... Wait. Wait. Can I... Grass. Victory, but seek something incredible. Yeah, it's not that amazing. Yeah, because... If you manage to get down here, you know... Maybe time to go touch grass. Alright, cool. That, and that over there is... That fort is... Oh, okay. Not Fort Hate, but... I think that's the Colosseum, maybe? Not quite sure, but... Uh, I can't pause right now because other things are chasing me. How exciting. Big thing is, I should leave this place before I end up getting killed, because if I get killed, then that blood stain is gone. I should focus on escaping. Can I escape right now, or... I can't. There's something here that I need to kill before I can... port out. Hmm... And down over here, it does not seem like it. Maybe you could get down there to that, but I don't imagine there would be anything on that ledge. So where is the bat? The bat! What am I, a joker henchman? Okay. But I... Something must be around somewhere. That... There, there's gotta be something. <laughs> I guess it's a question of vertical detection range versus horizontal detection range. Maybe it's... Is it you that's remained aggroed all this time? I really, really hope not. And just knock you down. Or thanks. Dodge. And, okay. Thanks. Just... What are you gonna do? Swoop and... Can I hit you? And can I... Oh, well, whatever. I, dodge. Dodge. And... Mm, thanks. Cool. And swing. What can I... Really? What can I... Please, I need to... Oh, please, come on. And giant bat. Can I swing and... What? What? Really? Okay. Come on, I just... So finicky. Whatever. I... Oh my goodness. I... Okay. Thanks and... Oh, come on. I... Okay. Just need to knock you down somehow. That's the thing. If I can knock you down, I can get rid of you. Get rid of you, I can... Well, I'll get rid of you. So, just swing, and there we go, one, and that should be out, I hope. And, wait, what? I just, really? I, I don't see any other bats in the immediate vicinity. How far away do I have to get into where? Maybe if I quit out and reloaded, it would de aggro the ones up top that seemingly track me all the way down here. But this is really weird. <coughs> ah. 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 Okay. Try this again. If they let me out, I will escape. That would be great. That would be just amazing. 
Physical talisman is pretty good, but... Having an actual sorcery there could have been good, too. Yeah, there we go. Cool. May as well go back here. Rest up a bit. Thank you, thank you. And go over to... Well, we can go to the round table hold for one. And talk to D. Got a good amount of runes, which means I could buy another memory stone for one. Yep, and you see our comrades in arms are in this. A the hunt of those who live in death. About D. Then Order Crooked Lantern Rites. Guns of the Great Elven Ring. Set so principles of the Order. Guns of Gold, Taining its Truth. Exterminated down to the last. Hmm. These are okay. Order's Void is pretty good, but... Golden... Golden Void I've got might actually be a bit better. I'm not sure. Well, either way, I don't have the stats to use any of those yet, so I should move on. I, it might be a good idea to actually go to the Ruins of at Sorcery as soon as possible, too. Probably. That black light with Goblin Stone, prized by sorcerers to produce that increases memory slots, said to be a fragment of the black moon that once hung above the Eternal City. Well, in the Japanese, it was probably referring to the Eternal City's plural, as there are multiple. All right. And we have three slots, which means we'll be able to get more sorcery soon. It's interesting how you can't get that from above. I guess we could put in Catch Flame. And then we'll go back to Wingrave, but... So the question is, do I go over to these ruins where I can get sorcery first or go and try to take out some bears? I think I go to try to take out the bears. Honestly. Because that would also get me over to some relevant ruins. I can meet a guy and then do some other stuff. And Oh, evening. Knights Cavalry are going to be around here then. Interesting. Well, I might actually like to Oh, goodness. Maybe... Oh, and there... Yep, yep, yep. There we go. That was a good idea. One of my messages was a praise. Right, we can use this for... Half of total HP. Decent enough. Then we can... Switch out... No, we should get another, at least... Another Cerulean Talisman. Another Cerulean Flask. There we go, and that should let us just toss fire. And our equipment is Vencrest Shield, Prehistoric Area, and before the Earth Tree, protect their ward as a wall of living rock because they are made of rock. Rot Iron, Shape of the Dragon, Symbolic of All Manner of Protections. So we got our Cicadea. These five fingers, Symbolic of the Intelligence once granted upon their kind, potency of special incantations, high ranking Corgiman of Farm Azula. That's our first Farm Azula mention, it seems. Well, Alright, we can take out some of the smaller bears and then some of the bigger with our sword and then some of the bigger bears with the seal which maybe i should have leveled up the finger seal a little first but we'll live come on all right and die die goodbye bear but the rune bear over there is going to be a real trouble they are weak to fire but even still there are a lot of things you have to do when dealing with them and oh well another rune bear what huh Okay, oh, two! Oh, so when they're sleeping... When the rune bears are sleeping, they both get over here. Alright. Energies are acting up. Whatever. I'll live. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. It's annoying when I can't mute myself to stop a sneeze, but... Alright. Over here, get that. Kill other smaller bears before focusing on a rune bear. Their morning routine is fun to see. And there we are. Cool. I said, oh, all right. I, oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks. I, oh, I didn't get my runes. That's right. I forgot to. How did I forget to pick those up? Well, whatever. 
Okay, cool, and just run. Thank you. Hide that, and can we toss the fire, and cool. Oh, what? You are really, really, really tough to deal with then. Okay, cool. Thanks, and just keep on hiding. Oh, really, really, okay, cool. Hmm, and maybe Catch Flame could actually work better here. If I can just stay behind them and use Catch Flame against them. Just to get there faster and cool. The rest, get away from the bear. Instantly gone, instantly gone, have fun. I could actually... This basic finger seal is going to be my best option for a significant period of time. I should actually go upgrade the thing. Do that at Church of Owl, actually. Probably be a bit faster because it's right over there instead of having to go all the way to Hugh from Round Table. You only need to take it to plus one, we're good. Mm -hmm. Alright. You can do that, there's no point to it though. It's a little higher that way, but official items required. But if we're just going over to Miss Wood to take on annoying oversized bears, I think we'll live. Okay then, okay. Wait, what is my. Oh, right, because of Baldachin's blessing. That's right, okay. Cool. Question is, are those rune bears going to respawn or not? Probably not. And oh, there we go. Big pure fire damage. Cool. And, yep, that does more damage. Okay. Question then is, what would I get from looting over here for one? And in addition to that, just one, two, three, and all right. Cool. Dodge, dodge, and mm, we don't even have enough. Going dagger and oh, all right. Mm. And these bears are for later, for sure. And oh, all right. And oh, come on, all right. Hmm, flask of serene tears. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that question is just giant bears are. Oh, come on, really, really, really okay. Come on. I hadn't woken the sleeping one up. Maybe I could have taken one on if I managed to stay behind it. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it's probably not worth it either way. Well, we'll see. Want this. We'll take on a big bear. It is objectively funny that there are enemies who are literally just giant bears. And gold tinge extra mint, and that guy's not waking up right now, so we're chilling. Oh, they're fun. I dodge and oh wait, that was faster than I expected. It's it dodge and wait oh, that was also oh please just thanks annoying punches. Just dodge and wait what huh I can I is that not rollable? Okay, interesting. Not. Do oh, well, alright. Hmm. Mm. I just. Well, oh, come on. I, okay. Burn and. Basically, no poise damage taken from anything, really. But. Okay, I. Yeah, they. They're weirdly good at repositioning, too. That's the big problem. Can't get behind them and wail away. <laughs> oh, okay. Seasonal allergies, I swear. <laughs> Blame coronavirus. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thing to really do is get my runes back then. 
Let's see out of the way of the bears and should be able to talk to Blyde actually, which would be nice. The ruins over here should be a good spot for that, but ruins are over this way on that path and right we already got that map. What is this then? I Nomadic Warriors cookbook, and you didn't even notice me. Fun. That oh Denny humans, hello. Fun. Alright then. Just one, two, slam and jump, kill. Hmm, I alright, two. And we'll dodge oh come on. I, thanks. Two and thanks. Alright. Nice. Okay. Ruin Fragment and Pin Beast Bones. We picked both those up at once, which was convenient. Didn't quite expect that, actually. So we can hear Blinds howling, but we can't actually get him over yet. I know that there's a Rune Bear over here who I do not want to fight in the moment. Should be up. Yep, he's right up top over there. Howling, but we can't get him down yet. Not like this. And I know that get down in there eventually, but... Hello, bear. One, two, and... Okay, cool, I can... Oh, this is actually a good spot to fight the bear. Maybe, depends on how I can... Hmm, I... Alright, thanks. If I actually just stay in here, you can't reach me. That's fun. Let's just rule these balls of raging flame. Again and again and again. Oh, well, actually, I need to... Uh, uh, oh, well, I need more Cerulean. It's annoying. And how are you gonna... No, I don't think you have a way to actually get inside here, which is good, but... Even in spite of that. Come on, come on. So I'm gonna keep throwing fire at the bear. In a safe position. This is kind of cheesy. More than a little cheesy, but if it works, it works. Oh, well, never mind. You could actually get me somehow. And there we kill the bear. How many runes? We got a decent amount. Got beast blood and a lump of flesh. Check out that beast blood. Crafting material for hunting carnivorous beasts. Crafting items, glinting with gold, never rots or decays. Interesting. Well, I guess the question is, is the rune bear actually going to respawn now? This is Nestor Adam Ahead, Talisman Ahead. And this is the Axe Talisman, which increases the damage of... Let's see. Charge attacks, Boron Axe, Axe is their own, dealing decisive blows. It only affects the Godfrey. It only actually affect weapon charge attacks. There's another, the Godfrey icon, that affects even spells as well, but that's not what we have at the moment. Big thing is, we need to go over to Kaveh. Be able to find some more stuff. He would tell us about the gesture that we need to bring Blyde down here. Blyde the Half Wolf. Okay, cool. Mysterious Howling. Hmm. Yeah, the question is fighting Rune Bears would be fun to do eventually, but if they respawn, there's no reason to do it. Just get rid of them, because it wouldn't even get rid of them. Okay. I have to talk to you. Buy something howling in Mistwood. Wolf in the Mistwood. Scroll me about. Meet him for yourself. It's right under the source. Nothing to fear. Might hit it off. Finger snap. Okay, cool. Goodbye for now. Means we actually need to put in something in the face of finger snap. I will put the finger snap in somewhere here. Wave and back in. Strength, no for joy, finger snap, cool. Alright, and then we go back to Mistwood. Could go to Fort Height and maybe also over to the place where the sorceress is being held prisoner. And maybe start learning a bit of magic. It's certainly an idea. Because we can deal fire damage, we'll be able to deal holy damage eventually. We'll need to get some other incantations first. So, the Mistwood ruins over there. Let's just check, and is that rune bear going to respawn? It, let's see, moment of truth. 
And it did respawn, so there's actually no real point to killing them from a defeating all respawn non respawning enemies perspective. This should be the place. Oh, and there was also a treasure chest over here. We need to use Torrent's double jump to get inside, so do that. And there we are. This is what is this? Hello. Chest and oh, just say smithing stone times two. Oh, we could have we didn't need to double jump at all. Whatever. A Siri item ahead. Okay, and let's just use our finger snap. Then we'll wait. Yeah, over there and finger snap. And that should bring him down. You hear him plunge down over somewhere. Other side, presumably, and it's a Siri boy. There he is. Absolutely massive. Bloody busybody. Some also will want her. Dara will. Bloodhound Knight. Your father saw her at the Ever Jail. Hmm. Find him before I do. Ample reward. Okay. Nothing but a traitor fitting into his tail. Betray them how? Well, that's the question. Big thing is, we'd be able to get the Bloodhound's Fang if we. Knocked him off, so... I think I might do that. Which is a very, very good curved greatsword. Arguably a bit overpowered, actually, which... Among other things, has very, very strong... Jumping attacks. I want to see. Mad Pumpkin Head is weak, too. That's the boss over there by the sorceress. Mad Pumpkin Head... The old boss, weaker to slash, lightning, hemorrhage, and frostbite. Strong versus strike. So there's nothing that we really do one way or another that is either resisted or especially effective against them, so... We're just gonna go and do it normally. Alright. Alright then. Some of you over here, and I guess we may as well beat up these commoners. Okay, oh, well, thought that would work. A little better. I didn't think. I didn't think. They, I thought they had to make an extra motion of thrust. Well, whatever. Come on, and just like that, we'll take you out again. And cool, easy enough. All right, and there you are. Cool. One, two. I might like to go to Kaled sooner than later, just to get a certain talisman, which will boost my rune acquisition, which is always very, very useful. But we'll see. Cave front ruins would be over around this way. Also, there are trolls to take down. Oh, but I'd want a different... I would want a different Ash of War for that. Take the trolls down. and want to switch over to Stamp. Upward Cut to get a bunch of stance breaks on the trolls. But the stuff they're pulling, though, could be nice to have. We misjudge our range. That is life. So to get up top here... I... Hmm. Get around this way? Yeah, I think we can. Do that, go over to the ruins, and we see some Miranda flowers. That's fun. Hello there. Oh, but right, you are exceptionally weak to fire, so... Just to get rid of you, we could use this very effectively. Unless we miss, somehow. And oh, I... Oh, you're strong. That is Poison Cure, which is not something we particularly need. And the flowers are actually easy enough. Big thing is the big flower is going to be. It's not even the boss here. These are just minions, unconnected. Come on, stop spewing poison, I beg of you. I'm gonna take some time. Hmm. But I. Oh, not like that, not like that. We'll charge up our flame sling then. Big thing is, I know that they're actually pretty stance breakable. You get a repulse on the giant living flower. We'll just see. I'll catch flame again, and what if I actually just hit you like that? And then, oh, poison buildup, and pretty fast poison buildup, too. That is not so pleasant. <laughs> oh, alright then. I will wait for the cloud to disappear and try that again. But just poison breaking this flower. This is engaging for sure. Okay. 
And we got you, so let's just jump in. Big thing is that it keeps them still. Two and... Oh, alright. Also makes them kind of vulnerable, so actually using... This is probably a good idea. Just keep the fire on you to keep you from attacking most of the time. And there we go. Immunizing cured meat. Poison bloom. Miranda powder. A golden rune. Whatever. Big thing is around here somewhere. There's got to be way down. Here's the way down. Okay, cool. Take that up. And probably use our sacred blade on the boss through here. And then boss head, then sorcerer head. Yep, exactly. Still no. Oh, all right. Boost immunity, green medicinal solution boost, build up the various poisons, and scarlet rot. I actually, let's use... It's an, I, an option that allows you to mark new items. Sure, recent item tab. Cool. We'll do that. And... Interesting. That's what comes up. A bolt, Miranda powder. Green form Miranda pollen. Men eating Miranda flower not it's scattered into the air. Deep green poisonous liquid and toxic terrain. Soldiers in a Lord's Army, and this is just better than what we had. Trina Lily is symbol of faith in Saint Trina, form of Mikkel and the God of Sleep. Those are sentences preventing agitation or madness. Finger man can be found. Yeah, we've already read most of these descriptions, but fetid pot, and that's just poop. Incantations, soft cotton, bond one's feet, raw fruit. Yep, raw fruit are basically cotton balls. Danger, tread lightly, and sanctuary stone. Ruins fall from the sky, so they're confirmed as Zula. Feeds and strengthens light as it shines. Rise as if alive, not saved, if you need more death. Trample on your death root. Hmm. That'll be our signal then. Cool, and we got missionary silver vagrant fall foot, poison pots and darts, poison arrows and bolts. Here, so all most of these are just various educational info bits, so we're just gonna go in and take on the enemy pass here. You got access to magic. Hello, Sacred Blade. Mad Pumpkin Head and Bolt. Dodge. Okay. And, alright then, we'll just slash. Do Ooh, okay. You're not that strong, though. And dodge. Ooh, I. Okay, alright. Thanks. And I. Go. Oh, alright. Thanks, thanks. Ooh, that was tough. Actually, a bit annoying. And, ooh, okay. Alright then. One, two, and three, four, and dodge. Lasso Physic, and cool. Nice, and. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Wow. I was not expecting that. Faster weapon might be better. Oh, but right, we can just revive at the stake. That's good. Right around here. That was painful. Mm. Eating some udon that I made for myself a bit ago. Waypoint ruins is where I want to be. We'll take you down. Oh, we can't jump over that. Shame. Get back to where we were. That's the idea. One, oh, one, oh, well. oh come on. Alright. Annoying, annoying, annoying. <laughs> the flasks, though, are... Thanks. Uh, what? What? I... Okay. Really, really stupid. And I... How am I going to survive this? So I just have to get back to my blood stain and then die again. Hopefully fast enough that things don't go all that badly. That's embarrassing. That really is embarrassing. Huh. Well, either beat it down or just die. We'll see. Gotta get those runes back. Okay, cool. And just... Thanks, thanks. And oh, we can get those runes, I guess. And cool. And okay, then we'll just... Break and ooh, come on up. All right, heal. Take that and what if I just jump? It? Come on up. Okay. What can I slam on you and dodge? And, okay. The more distance I keep, the better maybe. But I'm ooh, all right. And poison's coming. I don't like that. And I'm I'm definitely dead here, aren't I? Yeah. All I have to do is not get poisoned. And that is a very bad showing by yours truly. Okay. can take out those Miranda flowers for fun and sport once I've actually beaten the pumpkin head. Big thing is, is I should probably reallocate some flasks, but it's not something I can actually do at the moment. I don't have a side of grace nearby to do that at, which is aggravating. 
I can just go through here and... Not too close. I'm not gonna get poisoned, but oh, that's always... That's always a bit annoying. Okay. Go through here and... In my runes, kill the pumpkin head, and I... Weirdly... Oh, but you're... That's right. Oh, annoying? This is... I didn't think you'd be able to get me through here. Okay. Alright, and... Oh, come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, what? What? Huh? I... Okay. Maybe I just need to keep on running, running, and I... Mm -hmm. Maybe fire, but I... Okay, cool, and just... Dodge out of the way of you and... Oh, what? How does that even hit? Okay, whatever, I... Okay. And just run, run, and... Keep on running. Oh, what? Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I... Slam, dodge. Uh, jump is tough. Basically, Taro troops in this game's version of... Uh, can I... Slam, slam. Okay. Oh, right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Gotta stay out of the way and get another couple of hits in on you. Thank you, thanks. And just... Thanks, and run in. Slam, and... There we are! Big light attack. And finally, that took more than it should have. Decent enough. Just that grace. Here we go, and this is the Sorceress's Waypoint Ruin Cellar. Right. Get that health back and go in here to talk to the Sorceress. Teach us some things. Oh, always a dark spot. Hi. Want to shoot up here? Sorcery, quite plainly, why are you here? With sorcery, again for coincidence, sorcery, far from ideal. Nature with a bit of luck, masters wisely, and the academy, around apostate witch. Sure, why not? Piece of work. Protege and coincidence, sorcery. Cuddle cast kind words, never grievances. Alright, not in thought. Uh, mm, what do I want to use? The only thing I can use right now is Classic Glintstone Pebble. Just basic. In the Academy. Conjurate launching projectiles at foes. Repeatedly and while in motion, universal first step on the journey to true knowledge of sorcery. Alright then. Cool. And there we go. But we need a staff from somewhere, and I don't know where we get that. Tadpole infantile without legs to walk. If it's your ignorance, start learning. I can't even buy. Huh. I'm gonna get a Glintstone Staff. Astrologer's Staff. Where would I find that? Glintstone Staff, Nomadic Merchant, and Lyurnia. So where could I actually get my first staff? Hmm, interesting. Oh, they've already got... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. That was unpleasant. Okay, prisoner class, carry a manor, guaranteed drop. No one noble sorcerer south of Waypoint Ruins. Behind a big ruin, we'll get it west of the small graveyard. Allergies are not pleasant. Okay. South over there, big ruin. So one of them will drop what I need. Staff in order to use sorceries. First, I do want to switch out Ashes of War in order to get... Ooh, just the standard one. I want to remove that entirely. Take out those trolls and quit myself of this horrible, horrible place. Actually, what I should take is one measly meager. Change my flask. Thank you, appreciate it. I'll take a swig right now. interact with our flask and allocate our charges and get one more red flask. So there's a guaranteed drop of a Quintstone staff from one enemy around somewhere or so, the wiki says. But not right here, actually. Not right here right now. Thing is, we need to take down you. Thank you. And oh, right! Cod and Cellsword. That's great. Thanks. Oh, all right. Just... I- oh, come on, can I- Keep on moving around on horseback, can I- Okay, cool. Slam, 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 and can I dismount you or kill your horse? I can kill your horse for one. Thank you, goodbye. Hmm. Funny. There we got 
Now just a Condor or some Godric Knights here. Two. There we go. One Sorcerer has. Sometimes they drop their sword, which is rare. It's not even good in any real sense, but they drop it. It's funny how rare it is for something that is almost useless. It's a standard sword. And we can... Ooh, oh, alright. What's your weak? Corpse Rune Fragment in an Urba. That's new. This is? Is that a guaranteed? No, just a Rune Fragment. Not that guy. And... Alright, funny. Funny torch. And there we are. There we are in this. Grow a fruit. Let's check that Urba, actually. Don't really use this book. Medicinal plant and thickets and elsewhere. Short lived, diverse colors, a glow stone. Rainbow stones, benefit in dark places or at night. Okay. So then we will keep on going. Big thing is we gotta take those trolls out. Well, we could actually just get the item, but. As cruel as it would be, the only way to free these trolls from their servitude would be to kill them. Oh no, you need to stop the cart in order to get the chest to be openable, so we actually do need to commit a bit of violence. How sad. Presumably that we should get some flasks eventually, depending on how big this group is. I think the last thing we'll do in this session is to take out the guy in Fort Height. It's an idea. And there we go. Oh, alright. Fun. Okay. And oh my goodness. Okay. Fun. And we can just stay up upper cut and another Stomp and okay. Well, never mind. I'll just wait. Stamp and oh, you just don't. Oh, not not at all. Wow. Okay, interesting. The only way to really get rid of them reliably would be waiting for a foot to stomp and then. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, slam and mm -hmm. stomp the foot and. Out of the way, kill both the trolls, and actually it stopped moving now, which might be. I mean, we could get the chest, but let's free these guys from their servitude first. About to do a jump attack and probably one shot me. Well, whatever. Yeah, but these guys seemingly can't be, and yet that chain's gone. Question is, could I actually get the item now that it's stopped? And yes, I can. If I attack a troll and just stop it in its tracks, and a great axe, that's fine. I'm not sure I might have much use for it. I don't have. I would need a lot more strength to use that. Huge lump of iron. Battle and chieftains. Heavy to be wielded by those of ordinary strength. We'll fight enemies. Worse of the charge attack is a sight to behold. Barrack of horror strong attacks or combo attacks. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should have kept Sacred Blade because... Yeah, these guys cannot be stance broken. So it seems. And I... Interesting... It's not bad. I'm just gonna keep tossing this at you, but the head is the best place to hit the trolls, so. Can't actually specifically target the head, but maybe if I. Yeah, there we are. And that caught you in place very briefly. It's a decent. Take out these guys, and. Wow. It's kinda sad. These guys, if anything, were basically like the giants in earlier Souls games. We did not get any kind of flash or punishment for that, though, which is kind of a surprise to me. Alright, one of the guys around here is supposed to drop something. Frankly, I might want to check out some of the Miranda stuff first. And, oh, is that... Is this the place? Probably not, because this is north, not south. And that is Gold Pickled Foulfoot for some more items. Item drop- no, actually that's money drop chance, not item drop chance. Item drop chance is silver because in earlier Souls games, item stuff was sil was gold and money stuff was silver because money was souls and that was a sort of white. But since runes are gold, gold is money now and items are silver. Right, right. Okay, cool. Let's just take you out one, two, and just try this, cool, and... We can just stop that attack from- oh, we can't actually stop the attack from blocking, though. That's the interesting thing. Also, the Miranda Flowers resist wholly pretty significantly, to my memory. It's interesting. Let's kill these flowers and take out a few more just for fun, but... Big one over there will take a bit more 
Dealing. Okay, cool. Hmm, mm hmm. Look for that fire to go away. Or we could just grab a flame sling and get it to stop that way. Cool. Thanks. One. Two. Blast of tears. Stay out of the way of your big stock. Three. Four. Five. Kill. Okay. Should be a couple more. Anything else around this way? Probably not, but... It's all about that thoroughness. Oh, but... Why did the horse go away? I don't think I pressed the button two times. Well, I probably did. And then... Anything up here? Well, just... Some ruined fragments. Whatever. And then we got... A couple more flowers, and... The guy over there. And there you are, so just... Take you out. Ooh, please. Interesting. I... One, two, three, and ooh, that's a big poison hit from Izai. To make use of it like I should have, and we killed everything here, which means we got some flashback. back. Down over this way is meant to be, well, frankly, what I should do is just use the Baldachin's Blessing. That I can get my remaining max HP back. Did forget to do that, so use that just to get rid of it. Well, the chins is no right here. Cool. Peter Boost Poise. Well, whatever. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. And oh, we didn't wait really. And well, now you're dead. Riddly Flower and somewhere around here. Take out some more wolves. That's for fun. Hello, White Wolf. How do you do? And ooh, interesting. I cannot. Ooh, interesting. Fire is effective. And well, fire missed. Okay, cool. Thank you, and oh, more of you. Hello there. <laughs> Let's get this back, and can I just toss fire, and there we go. Cool. And Catch Flame still does better damage and can be cast while jumping, so here we are. And well, we totally miss. Never mind. Here we are. Cool. Got some blasts back. There we go. Continue our travails. Sure, not the same as travels. Get some runes just from these coffins. And I'm sure that the dead will have no, no truck with us. Was that reanimate? We just take these pretty much for free. And the probably because there was nothing here. So somewhere around there are meant to be ruins south of here. There's supposed to be a sorcerer who just drops, guaranteed stuff. We'll see. My ruins south of Waypoint. So I have been told. Wimgrave is, for better or worse, almost certainly the densest area in the game. Which is pretty cool, but I... Oh, right. On horseback, I can't do much here, can I? Thanks, and just die. Yep, you'll stop disappearing if I kill you. Thank you. We already had our full flats, so... Nothing much, but what's on staff from a sorcerer somewhere? We will be chilling. Hold go and keep on moving. That will give us our first spell casting, but actually the demi human staff. A bit farther away will probably be better. The nice thing is that it still kind of is being two handed, even though we were on horseback. Sliver of meat. Just a sliver. Herbivorous Beast toughens the constitution. Okay, and... That way, to get down here, what would there be, if anything? Big thing is, you can actually drop down this way. Which would otherwise be a fatal fall, but... So the question is, would any of these be... I don't see any items on any of these tombstones, so... It's not really going to be worth it to go there right now. Most likely not. See, I... There's so much here. Limgrave is actually massive. It's honestly more like a Genshin type of thing than previous Souls game, well, just in the sense that it's an open world game where you honestly want to poke around absolutely everything. But kind of for opposite reasons, because in Genshin it's because everything will give you some Prima Gems, which are sort of identical in a pure sense, but always useful. But with this game, it's just there are so many unique items you can get. This should be where I get my staff. No, just an early flower. 
When you're mounted, I... Make sure you're just a Kaiden cell sword, so I... That missed. I... Come on, just... Can I anticipate your charge and... Kill your horse. Knock you off. Sorry, sorry. Die. Sometimes they'll drop their curved greatsword, the dismounter, but... Now is not that time, it seems. The big thing is, if I go around here... There's gonna be a side of race to find, or am I just... Barking up the wrong tree. Oh, someone noticed me. And, oh, a sorcerer. That's great. He's probably the one who drops the pebble. Maybe. Run through the camp and get to him as fast as possible. Take him out, get his staff. Yeah, yeah. This Godric camp. It is interesting, people have noted, that there were no Godric knights in Godric's actual castle. Which is interesting and kind of suggestive, maybe. Of what? Who knows. But. And that's not it. Royal House Scroll. Oh, and that was some more forms of Gwintstone Pebble, basically. Oh, alright. Just gonna go and take out you. And can we get up there? Not quite. Mm -mm. Alright, then we just need to find our way up into here and... Can I... Mmm. Okay, this should be... Oh, that still hit me. You've got to be kidding. And slam and kill. Is this our... Glintstone staff? It was not our Glintstone staff. Well, alright. I... I'm rather curious about how this is going to go, then. That's not the guy, and this isn't the guy. Hmm. Okay, cool. And slam. Slam. There we go. Take a Lord Storm Straight Sword. Interesting. Well, the Great Sword is good enough that I'm still sticking with it. And someone coming around. Okay, cool. And just thanks. Jump attack. Just broke your stance. Easy enough. Cool. Take on as many of these guys as possible. Beat them all down. Thank you. And oh well. We all right. Two and now everyone is coming. Everybody's invited. Great. Okay, cool. And just slam down the greatsword. And who else is coming? You're advancing very, very slowly. You're afraid of me. And since you opened yourself up by preparing an attack, you just got hit. Hold the aristocrat gown. And I... Someone is coming. You're coming. And I slam. Take you out. Cool. The big thing about jump attacks is that they allow you to attack a lot faster with solar weapons, too. Regular serviceable condition, long since lost their mind. It's just the same description as great sword. Soft cloth, fine gold embroidery, travel attire by capital noble. So it'd be from Elaine Dalton, golden capital, all the way here in Limgrave. Favored by the age, birthplace after the shattering, undead waters, pitiful product of unending life. So I guess they're tarnished too. Gwen Void Phalanx and Carrion Slicer. Oh no, oh no, Carrion Slicer is absurdly good, especially since I'll have actual durability. I'm gonna want to make use of that. Just, if I need to do pure magic damage, it would probably be Carrion Slicer. DPS is probably the highest of any spell in the game. It's kind of like Feron Flash Sword from Dark Souls 3 in that it's a weapon that... Well, a spell that conjures a weapon more than anything else. And, oh, interesting. You're tough. You're tough. And I... Okay, just stab and... Oh, well, never mind. I actually didn't get that off. And take... Cool, fun. I, that was nice. Should get, wait, the Kaiden Helm. There'd be at least one person left over here if we didn't get our flasks back. Kaiden Helm. Hurlking fearless mercenaries, mountaintops of the wintry north, tops of the giants, adept fighting on horseback. Kaiden is the name of their home settlement. But I don't think we actually ever get to see that. Oh, and there we are. This is the Great Epe. Treasure chest ahead. That's cool. Is that, yet it's a... Heavy thrusting sword, don't have the strength or the dex, then sharp blade, life or death duels. The attacks used while guarding the shield. So you can get a lot of interesting special weapons around here. Heavy thrusting swords were added in Elden Ring. They did not exist as a category before this game. Okay, but is there anyone else around here, or was there did not count as a camp in the same way, or, or what? Get something around here, and that's. Let's see. Starlight shards, and that. Hmm. What does this even lead to? This does not lead to anything in particular, it seems. 
Well, so be it. And Weeping Peninsula is down over there. And we'll go there. Eventually. There are a lot of things that will make me much, much stronger that I can find there, but... The question is, what is the last thing I want to do today? Maybe go kill Darwell over here. That's an idea. But I do want to just see... Is there anything else over here in this encampment? If there's anything I could get from incessantly poking around the sides. Got that royal house scroll, which is nice. Karian sorceries of their royal family, but... Aside from that, I was promised a glintstone staff, and I did not get the glintstone staff. It wasn't in the ruins I expected it to be in. Which, I guess this is not quite a ruin. Stake of America over here. Oh, that's not a Stake of America, that's an actual crucifix. That's not pleasant. Golden Rune, and... A Crucified Tarnished. Hmm. Crucified on a rune arc. At least America was the stuff he used to get. Certain buffs, time for revenge on you, and oh, this might be the place. Yeah, I think this might be the one. Yep, yeah, because there are other guys over here, and yeah. Take that. Maybe I guess take this. Just in case this is the spot, which it might be. Good chance. Cool. Kill Darwell, and that might be it for today, and... Yep, that was the end of that. Did not get Cerulean back, which is kind of sad, but... We'll live. Got the Great Epe over there. It is interesting how many interesting and unique weapons are just... Totally missable if you don't know where to look. It... It has its advantages and disadvantages, but it's kind of cool. Oh, this is probably the guy, and this is probably the guy. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks, and is this our Socrat Garb, Row of Fruit, and no Glintstone Staff? Okay, cool. Die already. And that, okay. Got some stuff, but... Oh, the Kaiden is coming. Okay, cool. Interesting. Just run in and dodge. And one, two. It's actually more easy to take down stance wise on horseback. Interesting. Fun, and take you out. Urba, and... Hmm. So where is the sorcerer I was promised? Where is the Glintstone staff I was promised? All I'm doing right now is just beating up all these hapless commoners. You know, you know, they are part of the decadence of the royal capital. Maybe they deserve it. I'll say they deserve it. And we got you over here, and can we... Alright. How many more? Any sorcerers or what? Alright, okay. This is just a fragment. And we got... One fragment in Ur Urba, and... Oh, right, this is... Take you up, and maybe we'll do that again. And, alright. Yeah. It's good damage. Keeps you away too... Oh, we, we got the dismounter. But that's fun. It's a good weapon, but I can't use it yet. Need a lot more dexterity for one. Cemetery have to the hatchet. Dexterity versus all weapon even on horseback by dexterous warriors. Okay, then cool. One, two. Definitely got this already, didn't I? It's just, I don't know where I'd get my staff. So there was an item over there that I did not quite see, but none of these guys are sorcerers, so... And this is... Just a smoldering butterfly, which is, again, probably associated with Mesmer the Impaler. Keep on going and take out one of you, but come on. What if I... Mm, no thrust, but that does have a bit more reach, it seems, so it was a way for me to avoid maybe getting literally put to the torch. Keep on moving, go over to that Evergel with Darawill. I really just wonder, how was I meant to- oh, there's a crab over there. Be fun, but this is an- kind of scarab is that? Is that a- yeah, it's an Ash of War scarab, which is good, so I- well, alright. Fun. Interesting crab moment. One, two, and just roll, and unsheathe. Which you can only use with a katana or something, but they- oh, they're hitting each other. That's good. If these crabs actually hit each other, we can make this easier. And they fight exactly like the Dark Souls 3 giant crabs, which is nice. 
Okay, cool. If we just make sure that they... Oh, come on. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Kill each other. Kill each other. Great stuff. Okay, and... Dodge it. Dodge it. Very familiar enemy. Doing the other crabs, too. Thank you, and... Oh, that did not quite hit. I, the, oh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Interesting. Not gonna really friendly fire in a traditional sense, but... You can get a stance break on these things eventually. It's a fun idea. Yeah, I... Interesting, and... Oh, that did not do all that much damage. That one... There we go. Dead crab. Thanks. And I... Mm -hmm. Stay out of the way and go for your bubble spit attack. Try to get in front of you, and just... That's how you do it. Go for your bubble spit attack. Might have changed the AI a little. Don't seem to be using the bubble spit as much as you did in Dark Souls 3. Which I guess makes sense, because it was the most punishable attack by far. Two, three, four, five, and... Cool, and... Oh, well. That did good damage, even if it didn't. Okay, cool. One, and slam. Alright. Another dead crab. Cool. Crab eggs. Strip of white flesh. And let's check our inventory. White flesh, crafting items, bloodless creature, constitution based on resistance, long lasting effect, unsheathed, line of reed, so basically Japan. Composed stance, swift slash attack, usable on katana. Crab eggs, well in the shadows, crafting items, warm, smooth, and flavor, exquisite. Comfort means another truth. Eggs are more delicious than meat. Okay. Alright then, and, well, I guess we could. Maybe fight that Kaiden guy if we felt like it. <coughs> ah. <coughs> ah. Doral is over there. Oh, there's a... Oh, they took it from him. That's pitiful. A real gourmet, that guy. Oh, but since none of them are really aggroed... Praise the crab. Sure, I'll praise the crab. Well, bloody now. Would get me closer to the Ember Jail for when I fight Daryl Will. But it's just... The ruins and the... It's not you. Presumably. How am I gonna get... That guaranteed Glintstone staff to rob? Or is the wiki wrong? They might have changed it, maybe. I think that getting it could be a good way to end this session. Maybe. Here we got more Lost Grace. Let's rest real quick. Agulic South. This is a mushroom, just a standard mushroom. Let's go up and send some of you, and that is... Have we been here before, or... This is a... No, you're just a standard commoner, not even a sorcerer commoner. Oh, wait, what? A rune bear is a... Wait, excuse me? Huh? I... What? Interesting. I don't like that. That doesn't even make sense. I... Okay, and... Alright. Bear and... Gotta stay behind the bear somehow. Oh, but if I actually just take advantage of my high ground, I could make this work, presumably, but... Well, no, never mind. You are actually really, really good at taking advantage of your stuff, and just have to dodge earlier than you might think. And I dodge, and run, and... Oh, please. I, okay. The fact that a rune bearer was pretending to be a commoner... Makes you wonder how that even would work. Okay, well, actually, I could dodge, dodge, and... Mm, can I... Thanks. Okay, and... Oh, wow, okay. I did not expect that. Just dodge, and... Oh, I could... The fact that I can't get around its giant body... Just... Thanks, and dodge... Okay, go and Can we stamp an upward cut and... Break the stance of the bear, maybe? Uh, probably not. I, thanks, stance, and... Really, really okay. The big thing is, it's a good attack from just the standpoint of being an attack. But even still, uh... Hmm. Come on, I... Okay? Interesting. I... Alright. What if I... Okay, well, you're here now. Not good. And I can... Oh, come on. Alright. Dodge it. Can I break the stance? And is there any way to break the stance of a bear? Or is it just futile? It might be futile. Okay. Take a bear on and uh, single combat is tough for one and okay. One strong attack and just mmm. Don't have any ceruling and left. All we have is this garbage. Now just nice dodge. One, two, and three. 
We're gonna get anything special from killing that elite disguised bear. I... it does not seem like it. Oh, we got a larval tier from that. That's fun. So that's something used for rebirth. Character rebirth, which is actually pretty cool. So we won't unlock that till a bit later. Oh, and... Oh, we can do a special dismount critical. I did not know that, actually. Oh, okay, cool. I... were we up? We were more or less up here already, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, that was a weird thing to do. Just commoner that... No, not a commoner, a rune bear. And then dropping a larval tier on kill. It... I'm not complaining. That said, I don't think I'll be using any larval tiers because I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be respecking. This is the stupid build I'll be using throughout the entire game. But... Hmm. Anyone over here? Well, we got a Godric Knight. Move through, Spirit Spring over there, and cool, let's just backstab, well, that didn't work, whatever. Cool. Just gonna go kill Darwell. Could, there are a number of things I could buy at this point. More levels could be nice, but I honestly think that trying to get a stance break on him, stamp up or cut would be a good idea. It's a really, really good skill, just for going for stance breaks. Stuff like Cragblade and Lion's Claw is even better, but this is also good. And then, some of these sort of abnormal stone clusters, some of them actually eventually explode. Go through here, we'll be able to take down Darwell. It's Everjail, which does not require a key for one hound Everjail. Enter Everjail, which is just the extra dimensional prison. Okay. Hmm. All right then. Let's actually summon Blight here if we want. I don't think I will. All right then, there you are. Imprisoned and just one. Cool. And slam and oh, okay. Hmm. Not great. Okay. I right. dodge. Okay. Okay. And just think. Stop it. Nice. And wait, did we miss entirely? What about miss? Whatever. Okay. And dodge, and thank you, and, mmm, these guys are something. Dodge, and, okay, cool. Oh, oh, three hit combo. And, mm, one, one, two, three, and, ooh, would that hit me? Really? Okay. Hmm. No, that, among other things, that hitting them in midair can be good, or no, or not. Thanks. Cool. Nice, and just dodge. What? Oh, the flask was not replenished because that never replenishes on death. Let's use the stake. Cool. All right, then. All right. Back where we were before. So we got our flasks. All of our flasks back. All kinds of them. Interesting thing is that you actually can stance break these guys, which is really funny to think about. Hmm. So how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Examine that, and cool. More levels could be nice. How much do I need for the next level right now? It's not that bad. Actually, just, you can't leave once you've entered, and that's the thing. Okay, cool, and just take that, and launch you, and... Take that and launch you, or you're gonna dodge, you're just gonna dodge, and... Uh, hmm. I, okay. Powerful mid-air attacks. Two and three, and just take that and... Oh, wait, what? Huh? Okay, I cannot use stamp for that, then. Jump attacks would be quite capable, but I... Oh, and claw attacks are also bad, but I cannot... Uh, please. You're trouble. You're really trouble, I... No, I said, oh, but the summon sum is blocking my... That was actually really funny. We're still doing the soul. Hmm. It was interesting how... The rune drop shows up outside. Well, alright. Hmm. Maybe magic could be good, if I had a glintstone staff to use. 
Okay. If I can get a stance break off, it would be absolutely amazing, but probably can't, so. Nice, and just jump and slam, and can I? Mmm. Nice dodge, dodge, and thanks, and slam down on you, and out of the way, and can we hit again? This is basically an air versus air fight. Two and, alright, and slam again, and dodge, and okay, get back out of the way, but you always go back after that, so a roll might be better, and cannot, okay, thanks, slam, and interesting, cannot slam, oh, or not, that's finesse is vile, and can we, no, we didn't even hit, okay, and, oh, alright, thanks, thanks, and, mm -hmm. dodge, dodge, and dodge, and okay, cannot slam or not, Okay, and out of the way, and slam. Okay, ooh, okay. Hmm, interesting. We have to get back, and ooh, alright. Fun, fun, and. Go for a decent combo. What? Oh, okay, cool, and just slam down on you, and one, two, alright, dead. Fun. Fun, we got the Bloodhound's Fang. Felled. And. Blind should. It's gone now. Ever just gone. Blood is over here. We've progressed that part of the quest line. Check some of that. What house swing? And yeah, I need a lot more decks for that. Her greatsword, gently undulating blade, will the by bloodhound knights. Brutal airborne attacks, finesse, slash upwards, magic strike, back with somersault, gain some distance. For my bloodhound step attack. Interesting. Hello there. Ah, right. There you are. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. There we go. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. If we summon him, he'll actually notice it. Silver Smithing Stone 2. We don't even have one. Okay. Talk and should say Ryokaria. Blacksmith EG. Blacksmith was also on the large. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, that's the only way we can buy some items from him. Okay, cool. So, the Ever Jail is now inert. Hold death. Try friend. Try parrying. Or just try airborne attacks. Works too. And yeah, presumably bludging would be a lot better against these guys, but it doesn't really matter either way. I uh, let's go back. We haven't really actually. We can poke a little, little around this upper hill before quitting out. See if there are any items or anything else of note. Probably not, but it'd be fun. Take that. Cool. May as well get some Roa. Yes. I I don't actually really see myself needing to heal Torrent all that often though. This is the thing. It's not even close to night yet. It's still just morning. Knight's Cavalry I will want to beat before I leave the area. They do have some useful drops occasionally, and what's nice is that if Torn just tramples those skulls, we'll get a tiny amount of runes from them. Just break them open. Let's just see you over there then, and... Over here, or yeah, presumably not, just more lower areas of Limgrave. Hmm. That then, though, not much. Hmm. Oh, then, do I want to... And over here? Yeah, probably not, but it's always worth it to check. Let's still look around. Oh, and a spirit spring that I could use to actually drop down instantly. That's fun. So this is the way up from the back, around that way, but... That over there is... That is Weeping Peninsula, right? Yeah, that is. The Weeping Peninsula is just immediately cut off, so to get over to the other side, you just push them around the other way. It's no problem at all. In that case, I will keep on looking. The big question is, I know there's a way to get... Is that how you get to the top of those towers? Oh, you're kidding. That can't be, right? That just can't be. I, I see a blood stain there, so I'm skeptical. No jumping ahead in short death. Okay, cool. 
Top, some of those towers seem to be... At least got walkways inside, though whether they're accessible is another question entirely. Let's just look. Let's just look. Hmm. Golden Rune, and... Back up top to the little Evergale, Evergale section, and... Yeah. Back to the Greys, probably. And what I could do is level up immediately. That... Yeah, I had to teleport back. There was no way back up. You had to drop all the way around anyway, so... Buy some things, level up some things. Well, that rune bear masquerading as a human being is now completely and utterly gone. That is a good thing. Honestly? And to be fair, it helps that I have an actual... Some degree of bulk and actually wear armor and just... In general have more durability and more ability to engage in melee. When I first played through a bit of this using a pure caster build, pure intelligence wizard build, I was basically completely unwilling and almost unable to take on rune bears. I just didn't have a good way to do it with my build. But we were really, really skirmishing. We were just down and dirty there. But I still managed it. It was nice. So, uh, hey, what's this item? It's a golden rune. Oh, but the human bone fragment from before I didn't quite see. Let's check the description on that. Slumber smithing stones, written of color, plus two. Starting with colored smithing stones, different from standard equipment. Trail city and reading and intoxicating draws. Gradually recover FP, like life gems for FP. Go a passing flash of starlight, and... See that human bone shard that dropped before? Done modeling, hunting those who live in death. Little crumbles at the... Crumbles at the Lightest caress. Alright. In that case, we'll go back to the side of Grace over here. Hope we get a Gwentstone staff eventually, and if we don't, well, I guess I'll die. Well, there is a staff to get over in Weeping Tenetsula that will actually be very, very good for me for a while. Well, actually, then. Maybe we just go back to. Back to the Table of Lost Grace for now. Maybe. Buy some things from the pus. Some of the buffs I have access to would also be nice to use, but be chilling for now. Oh well. Purchase and let's actually just take all of these. Yeah, cool. No level ups, but we're fine, we're fine. Cypher ring, summoning from hunters. Okay. Hunter multiplayer, make yourself open to summons for rescue. Summon as a hunter, objective is to defeat the invader. Top of the screen, it directs, indicates the direction of the summoner. Hmm. It's basically kind of like being a dark moon, but not exactly the same. So we can use all those stone sword keys in here now, which is nice. Just open up whatever's down there. Which I don't presume will be incredibly important, but the big thing is that you have to get held by Fia a number of times when we progress your quest line. I don't know how many times specifically, but you do. I need to go back and do a bit more of that, but... Another stone sword key, and presumably something else. Let's do this. Cool. It's behind here. More treasure, presumably. Boss with you, so we got two more. And another chest in here. And what will this be? This is... The Assassin's Prayer Book. Oh, fun. Give that to Corin in order to learn more spells. Okay. Learn Cleric to acquire new incantations, Assassin's Approach, and Darkness. Ah, interesting. Okay. Because the two fingers in here had sort of holy or quasi-holy assassins to do their bidding. So Krapis was the most immediate thing, but there was a bit past that, too. Hmm. Let's go over, talk to Court, and give him that prayer book. Maybe learn a couple more incantations before doing other stuff. Assassin's Approach is... An incantation? Sure. Prayer book? Is that this prayer book? Work of Heresy? Oh. No lineage from the Ur-Tree. Tree. Interesting. Take it off your hands. Oh. Incantations, but it'll still teach us, but we can't get that yet. Consumes caster. Shockwave and Assassin's Approach. Small damage sad, silence footsteps. Don't produce by following. Tarnish with straight from guidance. 
That is quite useful, but can't get that quite yet. Shine through you. Let's use some of our runes. Tools, I guess. But these these wood count as tools, okay. Oh well, we got some decent runes. I may as well just buy some incantations. Not your enthusiasm, or at least all the ones we can actually use at the moment. There aren't really going to be any poison swamps around, is the thing. Other kinds of swamps, but not really poison. <laughs> Let's just use everything we got. Uh, we did want Assassin's Approach. What did we get again? Spare the time, and yeah, Assassin's Approach would take a bit more. Oh, we already got that, so Cure Poison could be okay. These are both good, and we can already... They're expensive, though. The big thing is... This would be good for fighting Dragon and Gil, but... Interesting. Which we'll do in a bit. Something from Hunters. Ready, sit, answer. World Call for Rescue. Some of the world's a hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually just briefly buy, then. The White Ring using a couple more runes. Now we have... Let's see. Here we have that. Actually, a decent amount for this early on, too. Just in general. Purchase, let's get the White Cypher Ring. Cool. Didn't really need that, but that's okay. Knight Armor, Thin Iron Plate, Unknown Knight. Mm, don't need that for the moment. Defeat the invader of your world. Okay. Questing help. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, I uh, how much more would I get if I just used all my runes? I could actually get fire protection, which would be good for taking on a heal. The dragon, because that's going to be fire focused. Well, then we need how much for each fire? Let's see. Choirs, flame fortification. Same as that. Fall the monks that some study for you, enemies of all others, the monks, fire, the sorcerers, magic, ancient dragon knights, lightning, sons of old holy, he immediately lands between, offers no welcome to the tarnished. Let's just get flame fortification and then maybe take on a gil next time? Maybe. I want to do as much as I can in Wimgrave before. Moving on to other areas. It would prevent certain kinds of cheese to arguably. Okay, cool. Let's switch our stuff out. Sure, spells out. Cool. A spell we just need. Which heals good. Maybe actually. Oh no, actually, that's not amazing. All of these are pretty good. That, that's good too. Room fortification is nice. If we're going to be taking on the dragon, we should. Now, okay, to get all four own health. And then move over right. We already got this through, so we can just remove that. Marker, remove that, and can we... Yeah, yeah. We choose the same one, it gets rid of the marker. So the dragon is going to be around here. So a cave over this way. Lots of stuff over in the grave. It really is one of the denser areas in the entire... It is one of the densest areas in the entire game, in terms of just pure content in it. Hmm. Alright, in that case... I can remember where I've been. I'll be alright. Explore this area around here next. Maybe the coastal cave? Storm Hill is a nice natural barrier to prevent me from straying too far, is the thing. We've got an okay amount done. We did manage to be. Oh, Tree Sentinel early, too. So let's just return. Let's just chill out. Alright, there we go. Nice. That was fun. Sayonara again.